Hello one and all, and welcome back to Catalysts of Chaos. Join us as we once again venture into the magical world of Eden. Now, before we dive back in, let us once again introduce our band of plucky adventurers. Firstly, we have Hendo, who will be playing Lucille. Well, 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 what have we got here? Ooh, it's a couple of miscreants breaking the law. Now you boys got your permit? No? Oh, that's real unfortunate like that is. You see, now we can do this the easy way or the messy way. You could offer me a little something to make me forget that I ever saw yous. Or I could take your dickhead mate's dagger that he's trying to draw all stealthy-like and shove it right up your ass before running you in. Yeah, that's right. Put it away real slow. Really, really slowly. Wise decision, boys. Huh? Me? Nah. Constable Lucille Inglebrook. Don't you fucking forget it. Gah, will you look at the time? Seems me and Princess Sparkles here got an appointment over by the Eastern Gate. I'll catch you guys later, eh? Next, we have Haley, who will be playing Azula. Good morning. My name is Azula. I am an eighth elf who grew up in the upper echelons of society. We had slaves, like many, uh, but we treated ours kindly. Others in our country did not. I joined a group of like-minded rebels, and uh, after a violent protest, I was banished from Vendaria. I found direction in becoming a champion for Zanbeare, known for honor, justice, and defending the weak. I can be serious when it comes to protecting the vulnerable of society, but I also have a playful side which I've had to suppress most of my life because of my upbringing. Luke will be playing Kakran which leads nicely into Veronica or V, who will be playing Kara. I am the chosen one. You, you want more. That's fair and completely understandable. I am on an expedition to experience this world so I can lead our people to their rightful glories. I mean, who wouldn't want to follow these glorious green glistening goblin glutes? Oh, um, this, this is my baby sister. She also helps. Baby, you're two minutes older than me. Best two minutes of my life. <sighs> I am Kara, sister to Kakran, the chosen one. Firstborn male of the Burnt Sands tribe. I have the honor to be born second. It is my job to protect him on his path to glory. I must be strong. I must be smart. And I must... Remember to pack the snacks, otherwise him and Floxy will get very hangry. Oh, you haven't met Floxy? She is my familiar, my other, other half. A beautiful flying fennec fox that travels with me everywhere, hiding under my floppy wizard's hat when she wishes to nap. <sighs> Lucky bitch. Now, without any further ado, let the chaos commence. So, have a snack, have a break, hopefully feel better in the morning. I think it's dead. Your eyes don't work, how would you know? Can't see it anymore. Well, I <laughs> couldn't see it to start with. I knew exactly where it was, and now I don't. Which means either it's teleported to a new plane of existence, or it's dead. Lucille. What? It's dead. <laughs> Good. My magic trick worked. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Magic trick. Oh, where's your torch? I think we get your torch. You mean the one I'm holding? Oh, did you go get that again? Oh, oh yes, that's right. You oh, wait, hang on, Susan. That's right, you're getting in there. What? Oh, yes, no, that's fine. Oh, it's real bright out here. <laughs> Alright, have you grabbed your torch? So I had the torch already. Oh, yeah. The torch was wedged into the yeah, what's the name of the that. shield. I just took the blindfold off. No, the torch was on the ground. Yeah, the doll. They specified that they picked it up along the way. They did. Mm. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. I want to rest before I forget. <laughs> okay. Summon. Right. I put my shield under where the blood is of that creature. 
just lop off a leg and like squeeze it. It's like, yeah, we should probably. Well, you gotta remember, this isn't your shield. You can just hand it back to him when it's finished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you're gonna walk over. Uh, yeah. And find the corpse, all battered, yeah. bruised, and burnt. Look at the other people. Yep. So you can see a couple of what look like they look like maybe merchants, like traveling merchants. Check them for goodies first. What? No. What? Yes. As well as what appears to be a couple of what were once adventurers. Are there any fae? Can we see any little sprites or anything? Do any of them look like they've been cut up or half devoured? Because we don't need to waste. You do meat. find a couple of what look like, but you find a leg. Nothing else attached, or like a like a forearm and a hand, but there's nothing else that you can find. Um, no. Rooms. All in all, you find. Uh, what would there be? The big one. Four corpses complete, and bits and pieces of other ones. Do the bits and pieces have any rings and stuff on them? For that, my friend, you would have to find. Here we fucking go. Little roll the dice, play the game. Ooh, how dare I make you roll the dice? Um, I'm pretty sure it's still only a plus three. Oh, you don't have to roll. Cool. You can just roll it now. Perception. Oh, look at that. 23. 23? Hell yeah. Okay, so as you start looking around, um, a couple of things would actually stand out to you as, you know, bits and pieces here and there. If it wasn't made of rock, it would be shiny. So, one of the merchants, the hat they're wearing, isn't petrified. Is it? Um, <laughs> okay. One of the live ones? What? You mean intact? No, no. The intact ones. No, not intact. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the intact ones. Like, oh. one of the intact mer like merchants, the hat that they're wearing is complete. Oh, that changed. I thought it was just a hair. In that case, it's... Uh, okay, i got to see if I can see that. <laughs> sure. How do you... Do I get to roll slow hand? Blood? I'm over yeah. here. I and if he's going over here... Isn't the corpse over there? Yes. Then why are you over there? She's scooping up the blood. Is Kakaron being suspicious? It, that's just mm -hmm. Isn't that just what normal is up there? She can roll to see if she can figure out what it's doing. What, what it's doing? <laughs> 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 sneaking! This accuses us of sneaking! Is this perception? Yes. Roll your stealth blood. It would blood. be a perception. Alright, I've got to do plus three because that's what I have. Um, so I'm putting the item in your. Inventory. Okay, let me know. Can you? I've put something in Karkaran's inventory. It's in his equipment. Equipment. You don't have anything to wear. You can't hide it. Loincloth. <laughs> put it yeah. there. You have a He knows a cod piece. Um. Yeah, I have something in there. It's got a question mark. Unusual headwear. It's just a question mark. So it, ha it just says unusual headwear? Yep, I can click on it. Uh, this, oh sorry, the nature of this headwear is unclear. Okay, no, no, that's okay, because on my side, it's got unusual headwear, in brackets, what the item is. And I'm just like, that would kind of defeat the purpose if it shelled out on your side as well. So, you know, anyway, cool. All right, well, if that's the case, I will. 16. Oh, 18. Look. So you can hear noises coming from the other side, but you're far too busy over this side trying to sort out this basilisk. Yeah, well, you're like, if I catch the blood, I can save the people. Yep. I've also put the wand in yours. Cool. Um, but yeah, that's all you'd find at this point. That's all right. Cool. Is um, stealing things from people good? Because They're not people, they're statues. Yeah, it's a statue. But the statues, we can turn We've them We've looted corpses. We don't know, they might be dead when we turn them We have them. looted corpses before. Yeah, corpses this, is current, this is currently a corpse. It's not alive, therefore corpse. What are you doing at this point? I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna crack open that cooked egg. Yeah. Okay. 
How cooked is it? <laughs> is that one? Oh, it's pretty scorched. Give me some. <laughs> like, all right. I hear a crack like, oh, fit. <laughs> Step, hang on. Step two. Yep. Use my, 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 snow, my nose thing yeah. and the rat's nose and say, like, is this edible? I mean, at least once. I'm going to need... I'm going to want... Survival. Fortitude. Constitution. Yeah, look, I'll give you the option of survival, society, or medicine. Ooh, I have medicine. Depending on what you use will depend on what the answer sort of is. I wonder if it's going to poison someone if they eat it, so... Survival. Mm-hmm. I can't tell what that is. 14. 14 plus 7, 21. As you sort of get it open, you notice... There's a formed embryo. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. There's a mostly formed baby basilisk in here. Um, it's probably still, you know... Well, Edible. I was going to say non, not quite finished yet, but, well, it's... Well done. Are the eyes? Are the eyes okay? Can we harvest those suckers? And um, we use them as weapons. It's hard to tell. That's where I would use the monster scavenger thingy uh, yeah. to see if I can. Well, if the eyes are viable as a no. Underformed. The eyes would be one of the last things to form, really. It's barely even got slits there where the eyes would be um you're fairly certain like the whites would probably be edible but the actual like, body itself maybe. body itself you can maybe somebody with a fairly rough constitution <laughs> cast off their <laughs> stomach maybe yeah I mean, I'll... would probably be okay but what? yourself or as a plus two <laughs> it wouldn't kill me probably yeah, but it, like, no, it, no, it's not going to kill you, Just but it's it. probably not going to sit real well. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Well, it's probably not edible, but if anyone wants to try it, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> real curious. You know, we, if we're going to rest a while, a little bit of flux will be fine. Real, real curious. You go first and tell me how it is. Let's see. Pour the cook out, uh, not quite lizard out, chalk onto the, a smaller section of the shell and just kind of yep. put it down. It's like, ta da! No worries. And I take the rest of the shell and just start gooping the blood into that sort of an actual bowl. Yeah. We can cook it up. Uh, it is. With the blood. Yeah, Amber. That too. Have you ever heard of blood yeah. sausage? Yeah. Oh, oh I've, we, we need Actually, that one. I've, I've got a pot here. To, Here's a pot. I've already got two hands full. Alright. Um, well, I've got I've got this on the ground in a good position, so okay. I'll put Here's the pot. I'm going to check on the eggs here. They're probably almost ready to hatch. That was. Um, I'll have a look at that one. Okay. Um, I'm going to recall knowledge mm -hmm. on wee beasties and egg gestations. Yep. Uh, I think everything went up by one, didn't it? So that no, way... No, not yet. That's oh, okay then. That's a 24. 24? Yeah, looking at the, th the one that's cooked and the other eggs, how close to hatching. Well, they all would have been laid at about the same time, within, you know, probably a week of each other. Yeah. Um, and given the way basilisks usually function, you'd probably be expecting... Maybe another month. Oh, so it's not going to be like any day now. No. Cool. So if we um, if we hatch them, they'll imprint on us. Then we can. No. Um, no and then we with birds. Oh. Any special care for basilisk eggs, so then that way they don't die between here and the adventurous guild. Don't smash them. Cool. Um, don't shake they, them up too hard. Are they cold blooded or warm blooded basilisks? Uh, Did warm blooded. Yeah. Cool. All right, yeah. so they need to be kept reasonably warm. No, not really. No? They would be fine in the cave here, just left. Okay. Like, if they were left here, like they... these two eggs would hatch, 
and then you'd have two basilisks. And the amount of, like, petrified people here mm. would be enough for those two basilisks to mm -hmm. essentially grow to adulthood mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by themselves. One of them would probably kill the other one because they territorial to an extent, yeah. but you would then have a, the exact same problem that you've got, that you just dealt with. Cool. Um, it's such a good thing I'm playing a good character, not a neutral character. Because, oh boy, do I want to know what had happened to one of those eggs if we had, like, one egg nestled in that sack of corrupted dirt for the rest of the trip back to town and the other one not, and find out what happens when they hatch. But I'm playing a good character. For so. science! For science! Um, science! Yeah. Alright, I'll try and um, start setting up something that's kind of going to be a, a soft way of carrying them or some sort of like... Sure. Some Back. sort of... Yeah, but at the same time, they'd still need to be cushioned a little bit, like insert well, some sort of thing. Like we can use some not, of the bed rolls on the track. They're not hard shelled eggs. They're kind of leathery. Huh. Alright. Like they are hard shelled. Yeah. But there's a layer of sort of insulating sort of hide around them, essentially. Oh, they're like an armor. They're rather, they look rather hardy. Okay. So like, robust. as Th in, these if you put them in a pack, they're probably going to make it back to town fine. Can I have a piece of that eggshell? Uh, yeah. When you crack it, yeah, I want to just do, do some durability tests, I guess. Oh, that one's being yeah. burned. It may not be the best. Some destructive testing. I don't need to do that right now. Detect magic. What can I find in here? A hat. My pants glow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His pants would in fact glow. What? We'll talk about your crotch goblin later. I said something. Just in <laughs> goblin. It's like, because neither of you speak goblin, are you? Have we ever used common talking to each other? I think we have, have we? Oh, I imagine if there's like a group. Uh, I guess, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just specifying. Yeah. What have you got in your pants? And yeah, what have you got in your pants? What have you got? What have you got in your pants? <laughs> um. Don't say your little green leather ass. I already know that's down there. What are you hiding? Um. A cock ring. <laughs> it's it's a. Uh, just something from your little old head. <laughs> well, I don't know which head you're talking about, but that looks too big for at least one of them. Wait, where's Azula? <laughs> I'm by the beast getting blood. Did you take yeah, something off one of them corpses? All right, then. Well, I don't want them to get it back when they turn back into to human flesh if they're I still alive. That's why it's knickers, isn't it? Well, I'm checking, Stop ain't I? All right, you just keep your minimals hidden and I'll go help them with some blood. Oh, I've got to cloak somewhere, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. I'll... Just chuck it in your pack or something. It's all the way outside. You know you're going to make that stink like goblin. That's how you know it's mine. Oh, fuck! Did <laughs> 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 you die in your first drink for Okay, do we know this is the Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Can we roll to see who gets to lick it first? You can both certainly try. He's like, wait. Oh, shit. I feel like you should get a disadvantage because he's got it in his hand first. Um, yeah, but he's got to get it up to his face. I can dive my face down there. What, what are we wrong here? I don't know, man. Grapple. <laughs> uh, that works for me. Yeah. Uh, you'd be rolling a reflex save, and you'd be rolling either athletics or acrobatics to try and... Reflex. Yo. So Ooh, jeez, plus 11, that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, I, I doubt I'm going to get this, but I still want to try. Well, it's kind of his thing. I know. <laughs> so just, just don't be a one, don't be a one, don't be a one. 22. Yeah, you got this, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a 13. Just, ah, put it back in, lick it, put it back in. Do we hear this? Do we I mean, think... you guys would hear some weird jabbering. And then, I feel ah. like I get halfway and then I realise I know where that's been. Wait, I don't want to lick that. God, so it'll be like, a, nope, nope. 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 I can hear it. Yes. Can I see it? Not really. Just a scuffle. Goblins being goblins. You know when we're nattering like this, we're probably okay. just bickering. Okay. So I'll need you to roll me a survival test to try and harvest the blood from this creature to be able to 
put it on. Just remember, quantity has a quality all of its own. Yeah, I'm In this instance, you want as much quantity. But I'm not putting it on anything yet. Well, should we just bring the first. people over here? You're going to rest first. Okay. Yeah, we're just letting the blood drip, but we're going to rest because Kyra made an excellent point. They could be bad guys. Yeah. Sir, what if they come too and they want to kill us? They're bad people. They could be bad. The blood is good for 24 hours, yes? So if we rest it up a little bit fast. Usually. Yeah. Do, you, do we need to do anything special to help harvest this? You're pretty good with nature, you well. think? Like, will it wait for us to drain the blood for eight hours, or should we do this now? You mean, will the body wait? No, but I don't know what happens to the blood inside the body with the congealing factor. Oh, it? it just sinks to the bottom. Okay. Eventually, oh. it takes a while, though. I can grab that empty... That's why they call dead body soup. Ah. Accurate. You Excellent. should know that. Got the deer. Got an empty yeah. healing no, potion. Bottle where I can yeah. stick some blood into. Yeah, that's not really gonna do too much. <laughs> We're talking about like quantities yeah, that you need yeah. some large. Yeah, but I've got nothing really carried in. I've got a shield. Yeah, you could take my shield from outside. We have to wash everything. Like that reminds me. Frying pan, bowl, other bowl, all the spoons laid out in a row. <laughs> All the soup spoons. <laughs> yeah, so somehow I think if that uh, I do have that spare skill slot, once I look into it, I'm just going to take craft alchemy so I can just deal with some of these weird caustic shit that's going on with you guys. Just spoonfuls of blood. <laughs> just, How do I preserve this? Z, hey, hey, come on, watch this. <laughs> Please tell me it went at the back of a swallow. She you wouldn't feel it on the armor. You wouldn't feel it. I'm already covered in blood anyway. I was right there hacking at him. Still, you won't get turned to stone. Gotta make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do a do a stealth check to right kick me on the back of your armor. <laughs> in goblin. Oh, I can't write that. Exactly. Much. So it's only gonna be in goblin. I'll find scratch. it funny. I only one that matters. Well, I mean. Okay, so you guys are resting for a while. Um, um, do I do I some watches and the shit? The cave would smell, right? Well, I mean, this part of the cave probably smells pretty bad, but there are other bits that you could rest in, or you could go out the front of the cave. There's also a nice nest there you could nestle down in. Um, no, thank you. I'm finding a bit that doesn't smell in the cave. Yep. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm the best rested. Out of all of this. Yep. I mean, least amount of hit points, but best rested. <laughs> so I'm happy to do first watch, just in case. I would very much like to get a full lot of sleep this time. Oh, I was too go preoccupied. First, I will yeah. need a full time too, so I'll go first or last. Yeah, you go first, you go last? Yeah, sure. Oh. Okay, Doc. I can do second. Um, well, it's not that late in the day. No. No, like it's like still. We don't have to sleep. We just it's like sleep. mid morning, chill. but you guys just need to sort of chill for a yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. Rest. Like, rest your really rest, rest after, you know, getting the shit kicked mm -hmm. out of you by a large angry lizard. Does reading count as resting? You will need to do some sleep, though. Yeah. Because you've, you know. Didn't quite get the full eight hours of sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm meditating. Um, yeah, that seems reasonable. I am going to talk to Foxy. And get Floxy, because it's only, what, like a 20 minute walk from here to the Glade. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get Floxy to go and tell them what we found in the cave mm -hmm. and let them know that we've killed the Basilisk. Okay. Um, we don't see any Fae up here, oh. but in case, because I know, I actually, I don't know if Kara would know this, in some settings, Fae turn invisible when they die, so I don't know if there might be invisible Fae bodies here that aren't setting off magic because they're dead. And they're invisible. When they be stoned. What happens to Faye when they die? They die. Oh, they die. Sixteen. They are reincarnated. They die. Oh. The body just sort of yeah falls off the ground. Yep. But turns into dust. I mean, the size of this thing 
and the size of the fae that they you've would have seen. been tasting little snacks essentially yeah if they didn't get in and get out if they got petrified this thing would have eaten them in a single bite yeah yeah cool um yeah so that way floxy can go and let them know what we found that we haven't found any petrified and that we've killed the basilisk mm -hmm. so yeah sure she'll pop off and come back yep and then, um, Does the pixie juice do anything, or is it just nice water? So, you sit down and have a good old... Yeah, my lungs have been half burnt. I'm thirsty. It is. You are thirsty. I am. You are parched. Quite. Quite parched. Luckily, I have this water skin I prepared earlier. Yes, you do. It's rather tasty. Refreshing. Sweet, even. I know. Very refreshing. Roll for you'd say. Hey. Aren't you not supposed to share food and drink with the Fae? Um, it's not sharing if he just takes it. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't roll very well. Not bad for a five, but you know, what do you do? Yeah, you just sort of keep sipping away. Then all of a sudden it's gone. I oh, know. Mm, I'm still thirsty. And you're still parched. <laughs> and it just seems to get worse. Hmm. You have some water? Yeah, I've got a water skin. Uh, no. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I got some syrup. <laughs> yeah. just, just, all of the fluid in my body has been replaced with sugar. <laughs> I am the most diabetes causing snack on the face of the planet. Oh no. Zombies <laughs> can't drink your blood, they just instantly die of diabetes. By damn, all their teeth fall out because they instantly rust. <laughs> oh, wow. With Kakran, if you want uh, more, you could. Get a fire going in some of the river water, heat that up. The, the river water down the cliff. No, no, so the river passes by where the like the side of the path is. Like you could reach down and fill it with oh, water bottle. Right. Yeah. It's um, just... But are you taking a drink from Yeah. Yeah. I mean if I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. Yeah, you well she's offering you the water. Yeah. You take a sip of it. It's sour. Yeah. This is going off to the out. I'm gonna get some more. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll go get your own from the river and... Yeah, I just said I'll go get some more. Yeah. Right. Make sure you desanitize it though, by... <laughs> desanitize it? Oh, what, yeah, uh, fill it with poison. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you sanitize Sterilize. Except make sure you sterilize it, yeah. We have no pancakes. <laughs> God, the greatest of betrayals. We, we didn't have breakfast and we used all the flour for fire. Can you have that egg? No, you don't. Oh, good. Oh, the egg! <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that, actually. I'm busy. I'm yeah, up so you things. quickly duck down. Yeah, fill them both up. Fill up both the things, and whilst you're there, you're like, hmm, looks tasty. A bit thirsty. Have a quick dunk of the head. <laughs> Quite good. Delicious. Mm. Delicious. Excellent. Mm. Roll me another fortitude save. How much, how much water can a goblin child give a goblin <coughs> could chuck water? I don't know. Yes. That's better at a 25. Okay. So you're just got your head in the water, just <laughs> essentially. And at some point your lungs start to burn and you're like, Breathing is a on. thing people should do. <laughs> yeah, and you pull your head out of the water and you're like, huh. <laughs> Tasty though. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fill up both the water skins. Yeah. You don't have the urge to drink the water. That's right. Well, it's it still tastes nice. But I'm no longer thick. You're not parched anymore though. No, cool. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, I'll fill up the, both the water skins. Yep. And are you handing mine back? I'll get there. I'm not, in the, I'm not back yet. Jeez. All right. This much. This much patience. <laughs> and that's all to ask. It's a bit cold now. This much. I shall smell it. Like, does it smell? 
smells. Is it worse than the deer brains? Which were quite tasty to us. Actually, probably smells kind of similar to some of the things you would have eaten back home. Yeah. yeah we would have eaten lizards and snakes and all sorts of stuff. Some. Yeah. Also, when I looked into it, you can actually just use prestidigitation to flavor and cook food mm -hmm. automatically. So, yeah, there's a really? limit to it though. Yeah. That just cooks food. Yeah, you can just straight up use prestidigitation to cook food. No thanks. Yeah. <laughs> choose life. Yeah, I'll like add yeah, just like some. Cook it and flavor it, doesn't sanitize it in any way. Yeah, flavor it <laughs> with some zest of home, basically. <laughs> hey. Spice. Chili on steroids. Maybe just char it a little, just like. Sprinkling of sand that you can never get away from in the desert. Yep. It adds that crunch to it. Yeah. Tastes like. It's pretty similar to some of the things you used to eat at home. It's not half bad. You want to try it? No. Yeah. Give that back to really? me as well. Hey, you want some? Did you sanitize the water? Yeah. It's from a fresh creek. Um, you don't need to sanitize it. Uh, um, no, I do. Well, I didn't desanitize it. You don't know if a dead animal has, an animal has died very recently here. Yeah, we, we do. do. It's right here. Yes, it's in the water. Uh, all of the other times we've acquired water, we haven't gone through the sanitizing process. It, it tasted fine to me. But that's because Lucille's always said that it's looked all right with her knowledge of the outdoors. She says that with such venom. <laughs> Well, just to sure you don't I'm not a big fan about of what babies. we do with water. So. Less of a baby, more of an embryo. Well, yeah. Lucille probably just gets it most of the time because Lucille does most of the foraging. Yeah. I, I so when Lucille would go off to forage, you'd probably send her with all of your water skins and she'd come back with water. You wouldn't really ask how she gets it. <laughs> Princess Sparkles drinks it, purifies it. <laughs> And then go straight in the water skin. See, that's why it tasted sour. <laughs> she didn't purify that one. <laughs> now, if you want to boil it yourself, that's perfectly fine. It's fine. That Look, one... takes it back, has a sip, gives it back. You Roll me another fortitude, too. Blam! That's uh, 20. Um, eight. Uh, 20 fucking six. Sorry. Cool. 26. Yep, yeah, so you take a quick sip. No. Damn. He's just, something about it every time, it just gets you. It's Invigory. so tasty. Where do you get that water from? Really? Oh, there's a creek right out the front. <laughs> Duh. Me. I know where we are. Yeah. You have a very different lifestyle than me, so this water might be fine for you. What are you talking about? You live the same lifestyle we do now. No. Not quite. <laughs> Munching away on dust. <laughs> yeah. Eating it burns Exactly the same. You're often it the same as us. She's got no. ten sets of spoons. What does that matter? How does that change my food? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. sure. I wonder if this thing has a wishbone. <laughs> that one probably does. Awesome. <laughs> it's a big corpse. <laughs> oh, this and one's full. Mm -hmm. Glop. I need the rest. Could you check this water? Or oh, water from the creek. Could you check if the water from the creek is fine to drink? Uh, I'll be back. Thank you. Don't touch my egg. I'm not going to. Yeah, not me. <laughs> oh, God, by the way. I scurry over. So are you actually out. harvesting it? Yeah. Roll me a quick survival test. Ooh. 12. I will survive. Plus, like. What, eight or something? No, it's, it's that was 12 altogether. Oh, 12 altogether? Yeah. Okay. Wait, right. are you harvesting the full animal? No, 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 no it's just, just harvesting some of the blood. Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't, I'm not getting to the point where I'm potentially harvesting the animal bits until the blood is all taken. It's not too yeah. hard to get the blood. You just sort of cut a slit and put something underneath it so it drains. Like neck. Yeah. Oh, no. Too much, too much, too well, much. Well, we'll get the shield from outside, too. Another shield. Um, roll me D6. Um. If you are doing the full harvest, Five. I'm happy to aid. No. It'll take time for it to bleed, so better to just get it started early. Mm. Um, cool. Yeah, no worries. 
guess I'll go outside and inspect the yep. water. So you head out to the river, look at it. Um, even up here, it's that same odd rainbowy <coughs> colour like it was down in the grotto. You weren't really paying much attention to it when you were walking along it, but now that you've sort of stopped and actually paying attention to it, like it's it wasn't an effect of the grotto. The water is literally that colour. So scoop hand up, just let it fall out. So it's does it feel any different? There's some kind of deposit, like there's some kind of something mineral or something in it. It could be immune system. Now with vitamin R, <laughs> rat, you promised me dog or better. <laughs> it's like, Smells feet. Smells feet. Sweet. That's why I had two. I might. I guess I like feet. That ain't right. (laughs) (laughs) Just get rid of yours. (laughs) Yeah, right. It's like. like, Shit. (laughs) He's been drinking this stuff. (laughs) Yes. Just a little. (laughs) Just, Just a touch. My water skin is mostly full, so I have kind of had that much, right? Plus <laughs> numbers. We're gonna need new water skins. Fantastic. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. All right. Back. Oh wait. Grab the shield because that's what they wanted. Yep. So yeah, back case. inside. Don't drink the water. <clears throat> it's fucking poisoned. What? Oh. Well. Pack run. Tastes nice though. Poisoned with what? Yes. Sugar, I think. <laughs> Sugar. Here, you want to try some? <laughs> Detect magic. Just like, I'll pour some out on the ground, not just like. like it smells sweet. Why is it sweet? <laughs> what the fuck? That's where you peed upstream, did you? I don't think. I don't this know how I would like get that. there. Oh. Can I do some sort of recall knowledge oh. to try and identify what this weird sweetness is? What no. is this weird mineral? It's going to be more knowledge arcana or oh, okay, knowledge something arcana. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that is a 21. 21? Mm-hmm. <coughs> That's probably just sugar, don't worry about it. So as you look at it, you come to the same conclusion as Lucille. There's some kind of mineral like in the water. Mm. So it's not the water itself that's sweet. It's whatever this mineral is. But I don't recognize the mineral. You'd have to do some study on it to figure out what it is. It does, however, seem to have some kind of very low level magical, like background effect to it. Wasn't there some mention about a rainbow waterfall? You mean the one that we're heading to? Yeah. Yeah, this is that this water comes from. Where the big crystals were. Yeah. Guessing whatever those crystals are is leaving some sort of deposit in the water. Which yeah. has a faintly magical effect. Aren't the crystals downstream? No. Top of the waterfall. Oh, That's why no, we no, are yeah, heading no, no, upstream. No, yep, we are we are heading upstream. I had things backwards for a minute. Okay. Good job. Yeah, yeah Kakan, you're not allowed to drink that water anymore. Water bottle. Jeez, actually, I, I want to take that with me for study. Well, there's still some left in there. No, there's more outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's there's plenty more where that came We're from. We're not going to run out of any time soon. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, you're all going to need your water skins too. I don't. No, you are. <laughs> yeah. You are. Well, yeah. Yeah, you don't have one. You can't splash it out. Well, that's a drink, apparently. What? Dehydration. Can I press the digitation like that? You can try. I can try. Yeah, you try it and I'll let you know if it works. Okay. Uh, well, I guess if there's a residual magical effect, it had magic on her empty water bottle. Is there a faint? It does seem to be some kind of faint magical mm-hmm. horror coming from the water skin. Cool. If I try to press the digitation it clean. Okay. Like clean out the inside. Yep. And then detect magic on the water skin. Roll me a perception test. Six. Six? Nothing seems to have changed. 
Nothing's changed with the water skin. Yeah, I can't clean that. Okay. Well, no, I'll I mean, just... I'm fine. What if uh, we use the river water full, not I'm fine. It? No, I think I need to pee. Will... You're fine after it? No. Nope. That's unfortunate. Like seawater. You can boil that, but it still have salt in it. Well, oh. actually, if you evaporate... Sorry, I assume. I've never been to the seaside. Huh? You can boil salt. I, mean, I assume. I've never been to the sea before. Yeah. Lucille's to definitely. get here, you would have had to go through via the sea. We did. What? You either have to go up north and cross. What's your survival? What? We crossed a river. Went... We didn't cross a sea. We never went to the ocean. No, it's... No, oh, wait, you were born here. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. No, right. Sorry, your parents are from the uh, homeland. Yes. Yeah. I always forget that. What's your survival? You guys have been to the sea. Plus seven. Yeah. Yeah. You know I that, like, if you catch... Oh, no, you've been to the sea plenty of times. Pure water, right? You've probably got, like, a day house down there. Provided that's how this would work with this stuff. Yeah, but... <laughs> okay, well, you guys both use healing potions, yeah? Can I please have the empty vial? There's one that she oh, had. Oh, I could use this to drink another. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. there we go. Oh, she Thank has you. it. Someone has it. There's one. Well, I have one from you. And yeah, you have I never one. used one. You used one on her. Yeah. Oh, you used one as well, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I can't do one. Yeah. Sorry. Thank okay. you. Okay, I'll clean that out and I'm going to get a sample of the water. Put it in there and add it to my piles of vials of s piles of vials. Yep. Things Kakron can't touch. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. So if you're looking at it through glass, you can see that there is little flecks of what looks like crystal of various colours, like in the water. Which, if you're just looking at the water as it's going past, it just looks like a rainbow. But as you're looking at it, it's just like little flecks of like crystal, and we're talking like. Tiny flags, crunchy, just water. suspended. Suspended. Well, it's just floating in there. It's glitter water now, essentially. <gasps> yeah, like that. that. Kind Except of, yeah. maybe not that dense. Yeah, it's not. It's nowhere near that dense. Don't drink that. I'm not drinking. I'm just looking at it. Oh, don't. Uh, I want to look at the people closer, who are statues, mm -hmm. and see which one is in the... Do order a priority, which one's in the best condition, so they're most likely to be alive with their body. Okay. Check for wounds. Things like that, yeah. Okay. Roll me a... Also what they look like in general, like religious... Okay, so I'm going to need a medicine test. Mm -hmm. And probably four society tests. Oh, right. I have um, bandage. Would you like to check if they have any wounds on the statues? Which one's the worst? Yes. Okay, well you do that. I am going to check a bit more about who they are as people. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm resting now. I've rested. Oh, have we? Have you would be rested? able to do this over the following rest period. And I would say that you would be able to do it slow enough that it wouldn't affect your rest. Okay. Because but you I'm not level three yet. Up. That's the difference. I'm trained in society if I'm level three. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. Well, if you wait until <laughs> afterwards, yeah, you okay. can do it quicker. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I, um, I just didn't roll earlier. I'm gonna precinct 20 total to identify the wand with Arcana. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to nap and I'm going to read. Okay, with a 20 total. Don't drink it as well. It is now. Do it. It's in, I put it in there, but it was unidentified. It has now been identified. It is a wand of winter bolt. It's a good idea. Hmm? You doing anything in particular? Probably exploring the cave. Are you talking to you? Okay. Mm -hmm. today. So you'd have a bit of a walk around? Yeah. So the only other part 
So you've seen the main area where you first fought the basilisk. You've yep. seen this back left-hand side, mm -hmm. which is where the basilisk basically made its nest. The yep. only other part is this right-hand side, mm -hmm. which as you walk in, you would notice that in the back right, there appears to be a rock fall. Out of the very top, you can see this little speck of white. That's it appears to be coming through. So we're not too far away from the exit, but we would have to clear a whole bunch of crap you out. You would have to clear at least some of it out. Yeah. Hang on, I'll be back. I think. I don't know why I'm talking to the rocks. He's like, he's like, he's like, come back to the thing. He's like, boy, can I borrow that hammer? No. I need you to clear some rocks. I can come and use it. All right, you do the heavy lifting then. Okay. There's a rock fall out that way that leads up to where I'm meant to be going. Thanks. Let's go see what happens. Don't. I don't think this counts as rest, though, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm good. I'm just, I'm just casually walking around. Yeah, you walking around counts as rest. You guys trying to excavate the rock does not. Did he give the hammer to the group or to me? He gave the hammer to the group. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, then. I would like it back, though, please. No, you said you wanted to do it. Mm. Okay, I'll get to it after my nap. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna go that side. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, sorry, more of a correction because I couldn't remember. So, if he gave it to the group, then I'd be like. Well, that's why I asked for it. <laughs> Brain. <laughs> it's been so long since we actually played. Why, Brain, did we do like this? Yeah. Um, you know, my response would be, a, yeah, okay. But can I have it back when you're done? No. Then no. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's yes. easy to right, actually. <laughs> Damn it. I, I licked it at the start, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm just reaffirming my Yeah, I just I couldn't remember if you had it. I'm pretty sure she had, but if I lick it, if she doesn't remember that she has it, it's mine. I saw. You may borrow it, but no. return it to me. No. Okay, then. So, cooties now. Just... Well, you're also a girl. How does that work? It's All contagious. Right. It's life. So, as you walk outside, you would see Floxy coming back from down the road. Nah. It's been about probably an hour at this point since you guys sent Floxy down to the lead. That seems an long. Hour. Either yeah. she got lost or. She's been hanging out having fun. Yeah, having a good time. As she comes back, she'd sort of stop near where you are. And you'd see on her, like, sort of body has been made this odd sort of vine harness. <laughs> Is someone riding? No. Floxy, okay. push the fade now. As a space for two very tiny seats. No, there's four vials. Empty? Each, each with a red liquid in them. <clears throat> no note. Huh? Yeah, did they explain what those were? Yep. All right. She can speak. She's a mess now. Oh, right. She had, yeah, she basically comes up to you and puts her hand on your head. Yeah. <laughs> well, the paw. It's not yeah. telepathy, it's straight up speech. Huh? She has speech. I thought she had telepathy. Uh, no, right. Princess oh, okay. Sparkles has telepathy. Oh, Foxy okay. has speech. Yeah, no worries. This healing potion. Oh. Ow. Thanks. Would have been nice earlier. Thank you. That she is inside. Don't drink this. Unless you really have to. You should probably lick that. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> just, the, just the head sticks out the side, just as a... <laughs> yeah, essentially. I don't specify which in. one. You probably should have licked that. I have a fun idea. Mm. It involves you being able to shit on people from the air. Zooler would never be able to stop you then. Alright, cool. Alright. Well, that she comes inside. Foxy, right. what? Healing potions. Why? Yes, please. I don't know. Is it because we fixed the situation here? They just said to wait and they would give me reward. Oh. Did they give you a snake? Yeah. Well then, making sure you got through one too. 
Of course. Good. I'm adorable. You bet you are. See, you're not you're an asshole. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, alright. That's right. Alright. Right. Um the face and this um healing potions is a reward. Oh. Here you go. Dibs. Okay, there you Thank go. You. And I'll put one. Are they just lesser healing potions? Minor, oh, minor lesser, healing potions. What are we doing? They're healing potions. Okay. Uh, um, is that an actual thing or do we just no. do that in? No. It's a thing that you will have to say when you're using it. Uh, I will do a thing. No, I'll walk oh, um, Kakar and I owe you a healing potion for using it on me, the one that you have. I've got a spare. Earlier. You don't want to take it? How many do you have? None now. Well, you keep it, I've got a spare. Okay, thank you. Um. So we just write down Fey Healing Potion? Yep, just let me know when you're using it. Oh, as yeah. soon as possible. <laughs> Wait, then why are you writing it down if you're about to take it? I'm not going to take it just now, because I'm not too bad after the rest. Yeah, Fey HP is close enough. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be HP pot? Yeah, but I can't be fucking spelling all that. HP pot. Hatchpot. It is the best of the edibles. Uh, I really need a bag of holding. Look at all my shit. <laughs> that, that would have been nice like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm just saying. Alright. But with that, time passes. You guys rest up a bit. Just sort of lays about. You get a couple of hours more sleep. Cool. Everybody else just sort of relaxes. You periodically swap over what's being drained into blood. Mm -hmm. Writing notes. Mm hmm. Um, yeah. Do I have any reading time? Uh, not really. You're You'd tired. be able to do some reading, mm -hmm. but not reading time like you need to. Yeah. Yeah. So like learning, like reading the yeah. books. Yeah. No, it'd just be. Yeah. Um, but you would all get your long rest. Yay! Twenty-six. Does rapid recovery come in for this healing rest? Not for this one. No, cool. Mm -hmm. Now we can do all these things. Okay, so mm. you were going to roll some society tests. Yes. Okay. So you can do a medicine. Uh, one second, I need to do a quick bit of math because I hit the wrong button yeah. Yeah, and did the double. Instead of the single account, I'm pretty sure that doesn't count, but I'll put look at my head. How much society how many society rolls? Four. Four! Seven. Well, the first one is the twenty-five. Okay, so the two at the front of the cave. Uh both of them are just adventurers. Um From what you can tell though, the equipment seems pretty good, so relatively high. Like decent. No insignias. On those Nothing that you there. can see. No. Okay. No master of the sword tokens. Nothing that you can see. Like there's no really? engravings on the. Yeah. I've on done. the armor, neither of them has a shield, so you can't see any engravings on there either. Yeah, yeah, and none of them so has. The if they do have sword. any pendants, none of it's outside the armor. It's all. It Shit. might be inside if they're wearing anything. So, nothing that really gives Split you any information away. Mm. Okay. As to their allegiances, essentially. Don't worry about it. Okay. And then the ones inside. Yeah. Uh, medicine. Yes, let's do medicine. I went from a negative one to a plus four. I am the cleric now. Yeah, you say that. Twelve. Twelve. Hell yeah. Cool. Continue. Because <laughs> it takes him. So we're doing one flat check. For everyone. Oh. And it takes you a long time to check everyone. Right, I thought yep. we were doing a time. Nope. <laughs> Here we are. Because that seems like the kind of thing that Karkron would do. He'd just yeah. sort of scamper around, have a quick look. Yeah. Um, put yeah. a bandage on this crack. <laughs> just tie it with a granny knot. So it's more like a tourniquet than a bandage. Yep. It'll be fine. It'll keep. So, next. Eight. Eight. Yep. Total. Bit different, yep. 
So, two of the merchants that are lying near each other um, seem rather well off. Rather wealthy. Um, just the kind of, um, like, the clothes they're wearing and all that kind of stuff. You can tell, even though it's stone at the moment, it would be of an extremely good make. Um, so... Sprinkles and blood, hats with a feather at the top. Well, it's not like that, but it's like. What would merchants be doing up here? Selling things. Mm, yeah. Well, if there's rumors of the magical rainbow river, if they can get these crystals. It's then... entirely possible that's what they were coming up here for. Exactly. Um, that's alright. The woods are always dangerous. Should always have guards around. I mean, they did. What are those guys with swords back there? Yeah, yeah. the guard in the entrance. They also, the dead mm. bodies, they could have easily had, like, higher protection. And you mm. see one of them, around their neck, has the symbol of Idex. Okay. Hmm. Who that is? Huh? Who that is? That is not... Probably raw check if you want to know anything about them. No, I'm probably never. <laughs> or losing, or... Or doing my spell prep for the day. Yeah. Once I've finished my rest. Let's do a religion check for Iron Dex. Iron Dex. Iron Dex. High Dex. High. High Dex. High Dex. Like, like index without the mm. Yeah. Like, essentially. Like, I have High Dex Terity. High Dex. Yeah. I... Apostrophe D E X. Yeah. I just yep. wanted to poke your stubble, but then your face kept doing things. Okay. Religion. Is mm -hmm. a fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. I mean, that's more than enough to get a basic understanding. That she's one of the primary gods. Mm -hmm. Um, she's the goddess of law and ability and culture. Yeah. See um, the elves. Hmm. Like Aether Elves, a lot of Aether Elves follow her. Oh, do they? Well, law, nobility, and culture. Yeah. Mm. Nobility type stuff. Mm. There's, That's your opinion. There's a difference between nobility and superiority <laughs> complexes. <laughs> there would be a certain subcult of Idex mm. that a lot of the Aether Elves would probably follow. Mm -hmm. But that means that they can say they follow Idex. Exactly. Yep. Religion is perspective. Um. You can use the words <laughs> as you. Um, but a lot of merchants tend to follow Idex as well because, you know, law, culture, in there comes trade. So, yeah. Um, basically, that's what it comes down to. And, yeah, one of the big tenets that her followers believe that her guidance is there to maintain a society that is orderly, just, and respectful of tradition. And... Merchants love tradition because it usually brings them money. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, like, one of her main domains is wealth. Yeah. So. Again, that's why I thought of. Anyway. <laughs> but yes, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, m may not necessarily be like a cleric or something like that, but to vote to you, my Yeah. Yeah. Right. Next one. Eleven. Eleven. Um, there is a group of... There's an adventurer. Um, so yeah, there was two merchants and two adventurers in the nest. One of the adventurers is... Younger, is probably the nicest way to put it. They look very much more amateurish than the other adventurers that you've seen so far. Because they're not closer to the nest. Bravo. Um, mm. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> this is food for the babies. Okay. Um, yeah, you can just tell by the gear they've got on. It was probably one of their first forays into the adventuring world. Mm. Yeah. You know, that brings whole new meanings to both getting stoned and baby food. <laughs> yeah, good. And you last right there, but not <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Mm -hmm. All right. 
the last one, you originally start to take for another adventurer until you notice around their neck is the symbol you've seen a bit of lately, actually. Mm-hmm. Christ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anything else about them? Judging from what you can tell, well, <laughs> might not necessarily have been a cleric, but they weren't a common guard. They were probably a bit higher up in the ranks. Wait, if she saves them, does that mean she owns them now? I think you're looking first. Mm. No. And she's got a slice of a piece of their tongue. I wouldn't them anyway. I would but use that they would them. probably owe her dead. <laughs> That's all right. We just need to make sure it's one of us that yeah, puts the blood on them, not her, because we'll cash that in. If needed. If needed. Okay. I mean, sure. If not. Well, we need to go when? medically the best, the most suitable first. And so. at this point, you'd probably be getting to the point where the blood would be mostly drained. You've got enough for what you're pretty sure would be enough to unpetrify three people. But I thought you only needed like a bowlful. Mm. You have to drain them pretty well, don't you? Yeah, but like we're talking a bowlful like that. Yeah. Like four or five litres of blood. Yeah. And it's taken a while for it to drain out. Like, there's probably more in there, Yeah. but getting it out you're not going to get like we can't exactly hang this thing right. so actually a... I can um, <coughs> probably set something up so we can hang it to can get you the press, rest press to digitate the blood out you can move up to like a um, liquid or something no but before I do my spell prep I can purposely um, cast bull strength on someone so we actually have the strength to pick it up and move it around see the problem is the amount of time it's going to take to get enough to get another person, it's probably going to run over the time. Yeah. And the blood's going to run out of its magical properties. I thought it had 24 hours. Yeah, well, it's already been eight. Yeah. Yeah. So we heal the richest one, the second richest one, and, and the, the one that will us. stop coming out. No. Where it is at the moment. Kakaron, check yeah. which one's we the most injured. Move it about. Which one might not Pack a leg off. Which one's worse? Hold it over someone's head. Are the... Yeah, let's do that. What? I missed that. Sorry. Kakron, you need to check which one's going to be the most likely to survive the unpetrification. Now, for 12. That's an excellent question. The young adventurer? Lost cause written off. <laughs> well, <No. laughs> he... He yeah, looks yeah. like he's got a couple of injuries that look worse for wear. Yeah, the one I took the hat off, how's he looking? The one you took a hat off, he looks alright. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, yay. Um, both the merchants look alright. Right. Um, both the people at the front of the cave look pretty good. They were helpful to us, we should do it for them. And, mm. and the... The crisis member looks like they've got injuries, but from what you can tell, they have a lot of scars. So you're not too sure if the injuries would actually be fatal. Like you can see scratches and all that yeah. across them, but you're not sure if they'd actually be fatal or not. So we've got good, good, probably not. Put him out of his misery. He's probably fine and good. Okay. Can clerics mm. unpetrify people with their fancy god magics? Religion check? Yeah. I'm pretty sure some restoration spells. Uh, it's a 16. 16? Uh, yeah, it's definitely within the realms. Um, one of the restoration spells. Let me just check. Restoration. Might be greater. Stupefied, drained, mm, doomed. Conditions, you can do toxin. Just permanent doomed condition. Oh no. Do we have enough blood to unpetrify the jewelry and money purses? Toxin. Asking for a friend. Only on the outside. Stupefied. That'll work for the rings, I guess. 
focus on the hands. <laughs> the arm that we found. I asked, there's nothing on it. Ah, what about the egg? The baby in the egg, does that have any blood? No. no it's all. been eaten. Oh, yeah. I didn't think you guys ate the baby, I thought you guys ate the egg. Hey, no, we, we ate the baby. We used oh, the it was already cooked. Exactly. So no blood? I mean, you don't have a lot of blood left after you've been flash broiled. Okay. I don't know much about cooking. Mm. I never knew. Well, I never noticed. <laughs> Always time to learn. You can learn how to make white pancakes. Well, not currently. We could learn. I could. No, yeah. I can learn how to make the elves pancakes. Um, yeah. Do you think the time? Oh, uh, that's what it is. You need stone to flash. How high a level of spell is that one? Um, or how competent a cleric do we need for that mm -hmm. one? Probably more competent than a dude that got roasted by a stone thingy that we butchered. Yeah, but we knew what it was going into it. If you're somewhere well, else and get taken off guard, he looks we like he was here by himself. Ah, mistake. Flash. It's a level six spell. Do you think we could like? With some help, maybe take even at least like a lower hunk of this out and hang it off a tree to be able to get more blood out of it, as opposed to it just <coughs> pooling here. Uh, not unless we got some real tall people. What if what if we um, watered it down a little bit? Or? I mean, like taller than us. <laughs> Well, if we wake up one of these people, then maybe they'll be able no, to help. Sorry, heavy people. Well, well what if we what if we people? No, physical weight. To be able to counter it. Though. Yeah. What if you water the blood down a bit, make it spread further? <laughs> Is that a possibility? With what water? The poison water from the river. It's not poison. The weird it's just magic water. Sweet. Uh, yeah, that would help. It's got magic. I'm... We can try. If we run out, we can certainly try. We can, yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, so it's like stone of flesh is like one of the only real ways to do it apart from the blood. And there's greater cells of anti paralysis. Which is. And they're all cleric? Ones. Well, greater cells of anti paralysis. Well, if we wait a month, then we will have more blood. So we it could always get them very, fixed. They're expensive. You probably would have to go to the capital to get those. And you'd probably have to go to the Council of Lysior and probably order them specific. Right, so it's my spell or something. It's, uh, well, very... no, that that's an item. Right. It's okay. like a salve that you get. You apply it to them. Mm -hmm. Like Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like Vicks Vapor Rub, but on some hella steroids. That's some clear Um, 100%. Stone of Flesh is a level 6 spell, which you know they're pretty powerful spells. Mm. Um, a level 6 wizard spell. No, yeah, like. Stone of Flesh. Oh. Mm. No, Stone of Flesh is a wizard spell as well as a. Um, Wizards, druids, clerics all tend to get that depending so on who they follow. Who's one of those could possibly know how to use it? Yeah, but level six is pretty high level. Oh, ah, like that. You said some of them are dressed as fairy from the grotto. Oh, the dryad. The queen might be able to do it. Oh. Actually, the queen would probably have the juice to be able to do it anyway. How long can they stay petrified for? Oh, as long as they don't get broken, they're fine. Yeah, it's well, like, maybe um, if we get the queen back. <laughs> Yeah, as long as they don't get broken, they're essentially in stasis. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as you come back here with more fresh basilisk blood, salves, somebody that knows they're in the flesh, they can basically turn them back. Yeah, like we could always just take what we've got back to the Adventurers Guild, be like, hey, here's some fresh basilisk eggs, they're still cooking. By the way, there's some people petrified in the cave, if you want to go back and fix that. You might get a finder's fee. Yeah. Or we come back and do it ourselves, but I don't want to do that. I mean, we'll be here nearby anyway. Eventually, yes. Well, yeah. I've got my egg worth of blood. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go re 
to petrify that one who was kind enough to be a shield for me. <laughs> but we... No. We do. I collected this myself. I'm going to use what's in my big pot to heal the cleric there. Yes, that one. The Is crisis this? man. Okay. The cleric-esque individual. The cleric-looking uh, individual? Mm-hmm. Apparently that's what I've been told. If that's a cleric, then that's a cleric. I've never fucking seen one. Unless... Do you two have someone else you'd rather? Um... Like this person probably... Money! Yeah. <laughs> I already told you, the two richest in the cleric. Well... In that order. I'm thinking the ones that would be the most useful. Ah, uh, the cleric, then the two richest. <laughs> I mean, the man is not incorrect. With enough money, you can buy your own cleric. Well, my my thought is... Huh. Rent a cleric. If we do one of the merchants, if these merchants are as wealthy as they portray, perhaps they will be inclined to find the necessary ointment and come back and free their companion. We just have to remind them that we brought them into this world and we can take them back out of it. Why would we do that? To because make sure they, they do to the take thing. Our stuff. Who did? They, if they try yeah. to take Oh, if they stuff. try. I don't know why they would risk that. But, um, we are the ones who just defeated this basilisk that has petrified them for a while. I don't know why they would risk trying to fight us. <laughs> um, and same here, this companion might try. Perhaps the companion that we free would be able to help us on our endeavor to free the queen. And the queen can come and help <laughs> their mate, friend. Can you water down the blood so it goes further to be able to fully coat someone? Can try. Recall knowledge! If we have That's not a recall knowledge, that's a experiment. Uh that's yeah, going to is be... bad. Like Lawmaster. It's not Lawmaster. Roll me. Roll me Arcana. Um, is that with the added bonus now? Well, like I mean, the level you've up? You've had your rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yep. You've had your rest. Uh, that is a... Tw- 24. 24. Nice. So you can't water it down. Mm-hmm. You could, if you had the correct alchemical components, you could use it to create cells. The, the cells is essentially what it would be used for. Okay. So you could use it to create, um, what did I say that word? The, se- the greater selves of yeah, I don't yeah. know. anti-paralysis, that one. Um, that's basically what they do. They have a cell of, a par- a cell of a paralysis and they mix in mm-hmm. basilisk's blood to make a greater self of anti-paralysis and that's how mm-hmm. it gets the ability to get rid of petrification. Yeah, how fresh does this blood have to be? It has to be fresh basilisk blood, yeah. otherwise it loses the ability. So either way, yeah. we couldn't use it. No. Um, so you basically need to be able to make that. Mm-hmm. That's the best yeah. way you can do it. But then you might be able to use it on all of them because it depends on how far you get with that yeah. self. But I don't know how to make that. Yeah. I don't have the components for that. No. Or time. That's the yeah. only way you know. Yeah. Because... Mm-hmm. To be able to make a salve, mm-hmm. you need nowhere near the quantity to be able yeah. to make. So like, you could basically make like probably twenty cells out of the amount that you're using to cope one person. I kind of want to keep one of those eggs now because I can get really good um, make. But I'm not a healer. And those cells, they go for a fair amount of cash. Yeah. So we um, start a basilisk farm. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's going real well in the past for people. We just blind them all at birth, it's fine. <laughs> okay, well. That is what the people like to call inhumane. Well, it's they're not human, not human then, isn't it? Yeah. None of us human, not a problem. Anyway. Anyway, I want to heal this guy. He is also bigger and might be able to help us get more stuff out of the thing. I feel like the merchants will probably be less useful in the outdoorsy situation and the strong people could be like hey i want some money i will carry the merchant back to town and the butter off the stone statue to their family the family can deal with fixing it 
Like the merchants will not be able to carry what this big guy can. So I'm going to fix him. I've already painted a guy. You have. Mm -hmm. And as you get to the bottom of the egg and you finish it, you see at the top cracks start to appear in the like around the head and face and all that kind of stuff. No, I hope that's supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You don't know. It's like you're like. You, there's a moment of panic when you're like, like "Oh no! Like, oh no! I've cracked an egg." The stories were all lies. And then, as you see, you watch a bit of the stone falls off, and underneath is skin. Oh, thank fuck! <laughs> yeah. Just watching to make sure the person's okay and comes out yeah. alive. Um, he has a bandage around his elbow. It'll be fine. <laughs> and after a couple of seconds, you watch as you know most of the stone has basically fallen away, and he. Sort of. <gasps> oh, God, that sucks. Was it the one kneeling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's like. Huh. Always like, not doing well. Good. Glad that worked. <laughs> I've got to say, I really appreciate you not just leaving me for dead. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Are you injured? So. Takes a second to... Oh. Somehow. Were you? I don't remember. Well, if you're a child, I might bandage back. Uh, what? Oh. And he sort of undoes it. The cracks and things as you're a statue. You can see, like, there's a little bit of a, like, redness. But apart from that, it... That's a little bit, but no, it's all right. See, I fixed him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't really remember much, but... Yeah. How many were in your party? Uh, it's just me and... Gregory. Ha! <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, you idiot. <laughs> so he looks down at the guy that's on the ground. <laughs> Yeah, well, I never knew you were going to get far without me. I mean, to be fair, he is slightly further in than you are. Mm -hmm. uh, it's because he jumped in and cowered like a dog. I like to face my problems head on. That's why he was kneeling. I'm not there. I'm painting a... <laughs> You're painting... <laughs> <laughs> so, who do I have to thank for my rescue? Uh, I Lucille. Azula, are you with us? I mean, I took my he's, bandage back. <laughs> yeah, well, he's <laughs> taking his bandage back and he's saying stuff, so yeah. <laughs> That's crackers. Crackers. <laughs> uh, two of us are officials from Alma, like, um, on mission here from and Kent of them. Yeah, right. Iron Point. And does your group have a name? Oh! <laughs> uh. Oh, okay. Alright, well, we're shopping on it, but. <laughs> We've thought of a few, but they're all shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make a good first impression, see? Yeah, no, that that happens for a while. <laughs> oh, and there's another goblin out the back somewhere. Uh, you seem quite strong. Uh, we need your help. Uh, the basilisk that we had to kill. Um, oh, yeah. So you killed it? Yes. We need to gather as much blood as we can to try and save more petrified people. Uh, How much did you get out? Enough for three at the moment. Um, That's about all you'll get. Right. Out of... Okay. Any more, it'll take too long. It's... Trust me. I've tried. Right. At this point, you're basically having to harvest organs and scrape blood out of them. Deliver. Right. Um, Squeeze it. Well, in that case... You'll barely get enough for another person, and by the time you actually get around to doing it, it'll be mostly unusable. Do you think you're strong enough to carry your friend? Yeah, he can carry himself. Better question. Was he your friend? <laughs> I, I guess. That sounds like a no to me. Uh, it was a bloke you knew. I got... Allies of I got saddled with him to show him the ropes. Wait, by who? Yeah, we'll talk an huh? By who? Or what? Oh, the guild. Which one? Wait, Masters of the Sword? Yeah. Alright, cool. Oh, right. 
Uh, what year were you? What what year or month did you go on this journey? Um, um, uh, well, it was. It's been a while. Oh, just give me a bit. <laughs> What, Do they remember when they're petrified, like time goes in past? It gets a bit like fuzzy. What you can see he's having you, like some things he can remember fine, and then other things he has issues with. Like you try and get him to remember specifics. Yeah. What year were you born? There hasn't been a lot of blood flow. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, well, I was born in seven three three two. What year is it now? That would make you 3,000 years old! Come on, deception. Damn it. Sure, more uh, deception! <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's bad. Why, this might not be too bad. Oh, where's my mouse card? Can I disadvantage by the look of. What did I just. Like, give him his moment. Here we go. Here we go. I need the hand. I just start counting things on my fingers. Just like. What year are we The current year is 7355. Yeah, but you can. Been here a while. Nice. Twenty years. Well, no, he was born in seven three thirty two. Oh, yeah. Which made him about twenty three. Oh yeah. Yeah. Which makes him about twenty three. Yeah. Nineteen total. Well, I've heard of strange things, I guess, but I feel like there's no way I would have lasted that long in a basilisk cave. Yeah, you're disappointing. I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him the actual date, and like. Yeah, that sounds a bit better. Yeah. All right. Well, I think from memory it was about seven. I think I've been here about six months. Okay. Maybe. I don't know, roughly. We'll, we'll go six months. That sounds about right. And how's Kyra doing? <laughs> yeah. So at about this point, the same sort of thing would start happening. Seeing as you haven't seen it happen. Oh. Okay. It's going to come to and it's just a goblin in front of it. <laughs> Someone yeah. who's not a goblin, come here. Oh, all right. Running. Oh, yeah, that's oh, a good choice. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, Lucille, can you come down here? Well, you've already told me it's him. So, you know what? He can be thankful. Just, okay. I was just like, hello. Yeah. So at this point, he'd stand up. Oh, like, oh no. Knees, no, they don't like not working for six months. Oh, good. I know I'm a goblin. Please don't kill me. Why would I kill you? A lot of people get stabby when they see my kind. Yeah, because they're idiots. I was just prefacing no, it. When in the dark and creepy. You're fine, you're fine. He sort of wanders in and you see him like stretching his limbs. And he, 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 see, he like stands up and he like stretches his back and you hear like up oh, along yeah. the back. He's like, oh, that feels good. Oh, that's better. And he sort of looks down and he's like, huh. Hello. Well, that was a choice. What was? That. What's he just reading? <laughs> to the person you've just unpetrified. <laughs> Wait, it was a choice for him? No, no, no. The choice that you've made about who to want petrify. Not him. He's like, that was a choice. Well, what? he's followed you guys in after you've called yeah. them. Oh, it's the other guy. Right. Yeah, Shit. so uh, the per the first person you unpetrified mm. has walked in. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And as this person's, like, in the middle of, like, stones coming off them, mm -hmm. and he's, like, you know, walking down, like, stretching and all that kind of stuff, and as he comes in, he sort of looks down, and he's like, huh. Well, that's a choice. Well, we're hoping he's a cleric and might be able to have the powers to unpetrify another. Oh, no, no, life dead. I don't remember. Wait. Sorry, which one said that's a choice? The, the first two they unpetrified. First two? Yeah. 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 yeah, cool. Yeah, because hey, I thought... The I was Master thinking. of the Sword. Okay. Right. The one that you still haven't asked yeah, his name. Yeah. Like, oh, by the way. I wasn't there to ask his name. You asked our name. What's yours? Joshua. Josh. You were? Wait, Josh. No, I do the way. Josh for sure. Yeah, whatever. Cool. Joshua. Right. I might remember that. I won't. 
if I write it down. I'm Kara. Oh yeah, that's the other goblin. Hey. So, what's why did you unpetrify that? What? What's your name? Wait, the... The tall dude? He's still in the middle of unpetrifying. Oh, yeah. he's still going. Yeah. Oh, that was the one that I was talking to. That did the crack in the creek. The crisis. No, no, no. She's, she wants to talk to the crisis. The one, the crisis one hasn't unpetrified yet. They're still in the process. Of oh, doing. yeah, that's confusing. I thought Sorry. that was him yeah. Yeah. talking. The one to that's me. been talking the entire time yep. is being Josh. Yep. Okay. The crisis one hasn't unpetrified yet. Okay. The way you said it, it sounded like he was talking to me. Not. Okay. Yeah, because he walked in and saw a new person, and he's like, "Oh, hi." Yeah. Okay. That's all right. So it's the same thing. That entire thing. conversation was with Josh. Okay. Whilst this other person is unpetrified. Yeah. Come on. Uh, blood dead. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> they're a cleric. I mean, yeah, but still, why? Because they're a possible cleric. And that means that they could unpetrify another. I don't think so, but I mean, you want, I don't really We could remember. only go off the what we could see from his attire. Mm. So, this hope, trying to unpetrify as many as possible. Alright, but as you guys are sort of having this conversation, all of a sudden there'd be this like loud shattering noise and a blood curdling roar as the man that's sort of crouched on the ground jumps forward about a foot. What Where are you standing? Are you standing directly in front of the man? Reflex save. Probably like slightly off the side. You know when you do a thing and then you sort of stand to the side to kind of admire your handiwork? You went over and shook Josh's hand. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was shaking this dude's hand, not Josh's. Oh, okay. Either way, you yeah. shook a hand. Yeah, so I probably stood to the side a bit, shake Josh's hand, and then I'm just kind of okay. like watching this. Yeah, so he takes a couple of steps forward and lets out this, like, almost like a barbarian roar. As, and then sort of stops and looks around confused. We've killed it. As he sees the basilisk in front of him, dead. Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh. So he snaps his head down. And who are you? The person who just coated you in blood. Why? Because you were petrified by the basilisk. Well, that's disappointing. And who are all you? You see him. As he's a bit turning around, he locks <laughs> eyes with Josh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Josh is sort of standing there across his nose. Hello. <laughs> I'm happy Friends, I see. <laughs> Acquaintances. That's what I said. <laughs> I see you understand. Yeah. You're a woman of culture. Uh, I'm on this one for the pissing contest. Oh, oh, I went outside to take a slash, remember? Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> never mind. That would have been in Goblin anyway. Yeah, that's fine. He just sort of stands there and stares at Josh for a second, guess. So, who are the rest of you piss ants? You're very rude for a man we just saved. I like you. I don't. I don't. But I don't like anyone. The, well. The piss ant is, well, he's outside taking a piss. Probably on <laughs> ants. I was about to say, can I, can I have heard that roar from outside? Yeah, definitely. Is it back? Is there another one? What are we doing? Piss I'm good to go. It's all fine. Oh. Yeah, at the sound of footsteps and you running in, he sort of flings his hand around. And you see him tense up for a second and then sort of relaxes a bit, realizing it's just a goblin. Bitch, get petrified. I'm even walking around not covered in blood. You are covered in blood. Yeah, but it's my own. Okay. <laughs> That's entirely different. I'm Kara, this is Kakran, Lucille, and Azula. You already met Josh. Josh, this is... Lance. Nice to meet you, Lance. So... Are you a cleric by chance? <laughs> no. Fuck. That's unfortunate. There goes that idea. Mm. Cleric free since 73? What year is it? What? Shit, what year is it again? 70... 73, 55. 
Cleric free since 55. Doesn't have to ring to it. Don't worry about it. So, what do I owe you fine individuals? No idea. Well, that's not how this works. What do you mean? Well, we're oh. hoping that you were going to be a cleric and help us unpetrify another one. <laughs> we only have so <laughs> much blood. luck. I don't think there's any way no, I'm point strong enough to do that. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, so... Well, I have a plan on how we unpetrify the other two, because we can unpetrify one, and then we'll have two left. We just need to get them back to Iron Point, and yeah, wait for. We them. have three left. Yeah, so we unpetrify one. There are four. And there's four left at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's four. The left. Young there's one at the door. Mm -hmm. The two merchants and the young adventurer. No, you said that that one was broken. That was... That was <laughs> you bumped it! Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. yeah. So I did left. say there was one that's beyond repair and we should put him out of his misery. Exactly. Yeah, so there's three left. Mm -hmm. And the broken one. Hey, I have an idea what he can do to Owis. What? You know who we were, we were sent to find that thing in uh, Iron Point? I am the Mm. The one that might be a bit challenging for us to find without some kind of in, as it were. Yes. You know, I'm standing right here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you speak Gnomish? What? Can you, can you speak Gnomish? Why the fuck would I speak Gnomish? Okay. <coughs> so, Lisa, what exactly is it you're referring to? Would this happen to be the ganger? Fuck's sake. She what? does this. It's fine. Oh, yeah. The one involved in the gang? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, we could get him to help hunt him down, but wasn't it an inn with the dwarves that we needed? No. Yes, Ben Kenty was going to get us an inn because we thought it was the dwarven... play. <gasps> it's always good to have multiple angles. This is true. But I don't have an answer as to what we want of him at this point in time. Why don't we just take his re services rendered, like Favour Road? I mean... Blank check, please. <laughs> <laughs> you do, of course. I owe you. You do, of course, remember that if you dare to challenge someone, then you can call in a second as a replacement to fight for you. Excellent. That could be worthwhile in Indeed. this place. Beautiful. Well, don't look at me. I'm not the diplomat of this party. Okay. <laughs> God, I love no issues. <laughs> <laughs> they do this. It's fine. Okay. We have some tea for that. We have an idea. No tea. No, we don't. Speak. So, we have stuff that we need to do in Iron Point, and we're going to be there a while. However, living in a town where martial law is a common thing is not what we're used to. Yeah, especially with this bitch over here. Hey, I'm right here. Not talking to you, am I? Mm. Yeah, now. Are you talking about her? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, she's not too bad for a young demon. I forgot you were standing next Great to me. Test. That's bad. Yeah, well, you can take your dog and fuck off. Why would you fuck a dog? I mean, what are you in general going to judge? Mm. Isn't there like a whole temple towards like slutty priests? Mm, there was. Sounds better than a dog. Uh. Anyway, we either in. We are need friends in the city. What? And you think I'm going to be your friend? No, but if someone challenges us to a martial duel, it would be nice if we have someone who's strong and buff and so much taller than us. Ah, uh, I see what this is. It's just a suggestion. Why? Well, so you'd like to have me as a call-in? They mean it's cheaper than gold. I can agree to those terms. Then it may be a favour that we hopefully never that, have that to is, call that on. That is the yeah. favour. Yeah, we, we're not wanting to call it in. We don't have anything in mind. We haven't started some shit that we're already expecting. Yeah. However, we're not intentionally starting shit, okay? The wrong city to them. Not intentionally, no. But 
having a call in would be good. Maybe we could buy you a beer one day. She can stay elsewhere. Happily. It would be good to know a little bit more about the city and, well, I don't know much about crisis. I know a lot about a lot of other things, but religion is really You don't need to. Well, no, Kakran was actually rather true? interested in some of the stuff, so. What? But you don't need to know a lot. Why would you need to know a lot? Oh, fuck, that's great. We're saved. <laughs> Just don't be an idiot. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck. Oh, Jeez. good. <laughs> Outstanding, I'll be out of this debt in a day. So everyone turns and looks at Kakaran. <laughs> Look, <laughs> there is a lot of intelligence in this party. Where? Is this the, oh. the wisdom is lacking. <laughs> Wonderful. It's just tied up. So, in the, <laughs> the terms of the arrangement are... For you, Rob, for you are petrifying me, I will act as a call-in for one bout, correct? Yep. And have a conversation over a beverage at the bar without her. We buy the drinks, you give us some information on the city. Like, just general chit-chat. I can agree to these terms. Excellent. Very well. <laughs> he reaches out and shakes your hand, and then immediately turns and starts walking out of the cave. Do we even get his name? Who the fuck are we calling in? Yeah. His name is Lance. Oh, it's yeah, called a Lance. Hello. I thought someone Sorry. just picked up a big point stick. I Lance, think... what's your last name? There's probably more than one Lance in the city. No one of importance. Okay. Lance, no one of importance. Nice to meet you. Ha. He just sort of stops. Ha. Ha. Slowly turns ha. around. Ha. 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 He's being very slow. He's very petrified. <laughs> You better not be petrifying. Is that not what that was? No. <laughs> I am the only lance of any importance in the cult of crisis oh, in the yeah. city. You're the intelligent one. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I would have said the same. Oh. If, when you need to call me, mm -hmm. you speak to a member of the battle kin mm -hmm. and ask... For lance of the importance. The important Lance. Just Lance. Just Lance. <laughs> this would be so much no. easier if you just gave me a name. I don't have a last name anymore. Okay, do you have an epithet? I don't know. Like Lance the Bold or Lance the oh. Surly in the Morning no. or just Lance. No, but I had a title, but I don't know if I still do. Oh. I don't want to rub so spot. Exactly. <coughs> so, just ask for Lance. They'll know who you're talking about. Okay. My apologies. <laughs> May I go now, mistress? <laughs> I don't know why, but I like it when you call me that. You better leave. This is awkward. <laughs> He just sort of stares so, at you. Just like... Just... Just... Probably will say. Just... Flush. You're a different shade of green. <laughs> and I jizzed in my pants. It's a 19. 19? Yeah. Yeah. You see a moment of him... Pure hatred. And there's, he has to, he watches, he oh. physically restrains oh. himself from oh. lunging towards you. <laughs> Before he just turns and leaves. Oh. Oh, it wasn't my fault this time. <laughs> what? Uh, I feel like you made the wrong decision. I, I, I understand just... logically where we were coming what from. What do you mean I made the wrong decision? I believe the others would be more grateful. That's not after important. gratefulness, or after usefulness. That's what you're after, perhaps. Yes, that's what we were after. Something useful. Yes. Unfortunately, he wasn't useful here. Yeah. He will potentially be useful. All right, I'm... There. <laughs> so I did that and everything just went snap. I think one of the merchants next, because it seems the merchants are the more likely candidate to be able to help another through... Potentially buying 
the cells to help their friend. Hopefully a friend. And everyone here seems to be rather... Rather what? Is there any evidence of wares or wagons or the like Nothing around this area? Gregory? Jonathan? Jeffrey? Joshua? Josh. I so close. I knew it was no, a Francis. It was He's just standing in the corner. Arms crossed just <laughs> that was that was hilarious. Yes, Joshua, do you know any of these people perhaps? Besides uh, let me have Canyon. a look. He walks around and has a bit of a look over all of them. Also, do you think it would be able to uh, with this deed of killing the basculus join the, the guild that you're part of? Would this be enough? To what killing a basilisk? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Like, uh, I mean, he's in the guild and they did the shit job. Or what? Huh. We don't know the situation. <laughs> that's a bit harsh. <laughs> oh, oh, I like you. I like you too. You're more fun uh, than the angry guy. Normally, entry is killing a wolf or some wolves. Oh, oh, okay. We oh, we, we, we did that. that. <laughs> that's, okay. that's initiate level. Right. If you kill something of a higher level, you basically skip straight through initiates and go to one of the higher grades. Yeah, oh, maybe we should consider that. Then. Essentially, what you just said would be doing at this point. Okay. Ah, yeah, crap. Now that. Oh. Yeah. yeah, but if you start you with low expectations, then when you succeed, things are good. <laughs> yeah, you coming in with what? A couple of basilisk eggs, telling them that you, A, freed me, and B, killed a basilisk. Without having any name in the city. No. Well, we don't have another peace puppet to be able to do it again. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, so he's having this whilst he's walking around, having a talk, and he, mm -hmm. as he's doing that, he gets to the last one. He's like, "Uh, that's unfortunate." Is that the broken one? <laughs> yeah. It's a young lad by the name of Gerald. This was his, supposed to be his first mission. I mean. This isn't a wolf. Why would you send him here? Dead. We didn't send him here. Mm. He sent himself here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you get that. That's fair. Young adventurers think they want to come and make a name for themselves, so they see... <laughs> see Hunter Basilisk up on the poster board. Or, you know... Why? Cave. Home to some kind of monster. Yeah. Deep in the forest. That was the only description we got given to. Do you think we should have warned that Lance character? Probably not. He'll be fine. Warned about what? Oh, the the giant winged creature. Oh, around. the big birds. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's not birds. a dragon. Giant eagles apparently flying around oh, the place. Oh, fine. As low as he. Oh, yeah, and as long that as he, he doesn't run. climb the mountain and make himself lunch, which I doubt he's going to do. <laughs> you do that. Huh? <laughs> well, we didn't make lunch. You just. Anyway, different mountain, different yeah. flight creature. So, the two non-cooked and eaten basilisk eggs should still be growing. Eaten? Uh, well, they got cooked in the fire. Mm. They got cooked in, in the, the fire. In the battle, yeah. Yes, the fire in the fight. Right. right. There might be some left. You guys do you. It's a waste of good meat. For sure. Mm. I've eaten That's one. your opinion. But... The two that are... <laughs> just a... Yeah. Well, it was, I didn't even have to cook it myself. I just added some herbs. Is that why we did it? Um, could they be used to hatch and then use the blood of those intentionally to bring back the other two? You'd have to raise them to adulthood. Mm. Good luck. Mm. You'd pop out their eyes when they're young. Well, basilics don't raise well in captivity. They don't have to raise well, they just have to be raised. No, no wait, they, they eat rocks, don't they? They need to eat rocks. If you break uh, their eyes, they can't yeah. petrify things. Then they don't really eat. One so we can't just like take these eggs and be like, hey, guild, can you fix these other oh, two petrified people? The guild will take the eggs and they'll probably take the petrified remaining people and deal with it. Oh, okay. Cool. We have the resources for that. Alright, so well, we could probably sell the eggs to the guild? We'll 
give you a bounty for them, probably. Well, That's close enough. Uh, so out of these, do you know them? Either the merchants? Merchants, no. Right. Which, I don't know why they'd even be here. Mm, I know, I'm curious to Hunting basilisks, maybe. Ah, mm. not merchants. Not merchant. Maybe disguised as merchants. Possibly. I don't know. I'm a suspicious person, okay? That is fair. Okay. Everyone's a criminal. Okay. Remember that. You can't prove that. I mean, you're not wrong. I don't think you're wrong. So, no offense, but we either heal one of the merchants, hope for reward, take our two back to guild. That's up. Or we heal old mateys, not a friend. Get, <laughs> get him to help carry the two merchants back and then hand them over to the guild and then hope the guild fixes them and then hope for a reward from merchant. Why do we need a reward for this? Because look how rich they are. Fancy hat, rings. You got bitten in half. Rings. Don't you want something back for that? Exactly. We are going, we came on this mission anyway for something else. Yes. He sort of looks you up and down and then See, lands the on the symbol on your chest. And, ah, of course, like, just, the holy one. No. So Lucille leans back and just goes, See. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say if you didn't have me to resize and glorify your armor for you, then you would need money to buy armor. But we're getting it another way. Why can't we get it multiple mission ways? From I need to make money so I can buy components to make the things that I need to make to help the party. Right, but I don't think you should be an expert. Okay, we could probably skimp on the coin if we had a cleric to heal us, but since we don't, we need the money to buy health potions. Exactly. Two of which were used in this fight. Wait, you don't have a healer? She sent them away. She said that they could go on holiday and then we left the city to go hunt undead. That seems like I a can poor heal choice. I know. No, I do have a bandage. Some healing I know. Hey, if you guys are competent enough, I mean, mm. you do you. I think a lot of it's been luck. <clears throat> you, you guys are here so far. Lucky regret, Gil. We've had strategy. Hey, that's not bad. Well, we've been you trying like to think of a name, but the only catchphrase catch we could have been we we was a regret. It's a bit fuzzy, but That's we sad. learned. It's very hard. <laughs> yeah, that seems accurate for your party. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right, so. All right. Uh, all right. Who do you think would be the most useful? Looks over. Or well, the least useless, I guess. Not Gregory, he needs to be resurrected around clerics because they can heal him. How much healing do I need? Anyway. Which of the Wait, merchants? Which limited ability so, is no, of healing? Sorry. Gerald. The young one. Yeah. yeah not Gerald. Oh, I thought he was a lost cause. Oh yeah, no, no, no. He could be saved if he was resurrected in town with a cleric nearby. They'd be able to heal him oh. and stem the. Oh shit, that's three. Stone bodies, and we still need to climb a mountain. Climb a mountain? I mean, you just don't worry about it. What mountain? Sure. It's a, a small cliff. Oh, you, uh, mean the, you mean that? You mean that? The, the, the collapsed walkway up there. Oh yeah, you still need me to do something about that, don't yep. you? I can have a go. Oh good, all right. You and I go do it. They can argue about the race. We can all. Only... You what about if we like. ask the Fae to... Before we leave, I'm going to go over to the one that I did not take the hat off. I'm like, I think we should raise this one. He looks the most healthy. Yeah. Well. He, he looks over the two merchants and thinks about for beings. Easiest to carry back would be Gregory. He could help carry one of them. Mm. Like he could carry one, I could carry another. That just leaves. Probably Gerald for you guys to carry back. And you can uh, say to his character, he's not going to walk out on us like Lance he, fellow. He'll do what I tell him to do. Well, at least we can trust this one. If you want upfront payment, one of the merchants. I would rather trust the help right now. Yeah, we need to make sure we get out of this alive first. <sighs> That's fair. No point having gold if you're dead. I mean, you could always just leave them here. And we could all 
Oh, I was thinking maybe the fake look after them for a bit. Oh, wait, we have some. We have some. Stop asking them for favors. <laughs> You've asked them for favors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the evidence is mounting. She's very sheltered. Still. No. Are you sure about that? You don't know my life, Lucille. You don't know how to cook. No. You have how many spoons? Uh, you got a lot Everybody of spoons. Everybody has a hobby. Uh, it's very funny. She pulls out a pipe and starts stuffing it with tobacco. Alright, well, let's get the Gregory. That reminds me. <laughs> you know, we could just raise Gregory and then when we come back to do the other things up here, then we can fetch the merchants then. How will we know that some another beast hasn't taken over the cave? Because we'll be, com- we'll be coming back through here anyway. It no. smells like blood and and, and magical movements. magical basilisk in here. It's fine, don't worry about it. Nothing's Please don't tell here. me there's a manicure in here. <sighs> there's none, I've checked. Good. I, I, also, don't drink the water. Oh yeah, the water outside is poisoned. Well, it's, I wouldn't say poisoned. Who drank it? Why was, am I not surprised? Do you know what's wrong with it? How's <laughs> this? It's tainted. It's coming from the Fey Falls. Yeah, but do you know what's wrong with it? Well, it's tainted by the Fey. In what manner? Like, obviously it's tainted, but like... Well, cup- the crystal is from the Fey Wilds. Yeah. I feel fine. So what does it mean? Come and talk you... to me while I move away. <laughs> With that, he sort of finishes puffing, like stuffing the pipe and pulls out. It looks like a little stick with like a crystal on the end of it. And as he sort of pulls it up, he sort of turns it in there, you see it just glows yellow and smoke starts to move out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, look, I want to petrify the guy at the front. Oh, that's, that's, I want to. that's, that's, that's the stuff. Tell me about this while I work. Fetch well, what, what's to tell? There's crystal, it comes from the Feywilds. What don't does, drink it. What does it do? I don't know. Why would I, I know? I mean, as far as I can tell, it does nothing. Apparently it tastes it's sweet. It's sweet. Of course it does. It comes from the Feywilds. Yeah, I've never been there. Okay, um... That's probably a good thing. Uh, boop! <laughs> so you hit a rock? Yeah. And it turns to dust. Ah, not... Give me a go. No. Where did you get that hammer? Uh, borrowing it off a friend. I found it's mine. I've already and licked it today. And who's the friend? Vincentive? You got that sorry old sod to give you a hammer. He's lending it to us. Why? Because I'm just that special. Now give me a go. No. <laughs> Don't make me hit you like I did that plant! Fair enough. No worries. I have too many regrets in this party. S- talking too much is probably another. Look at the party of regrets. <laughs> With that, he's just gonna sit down and watch you go about the business of turning this wall of rocks into dust. <laughs> oh, well, it's just us three. What? What? No, put the hat on. Okay, so you put the hat on. Actually, I'll tell you what, you can use the hammer as long as you give it back to me. I'll examine the hat and tell you what it does. That works too. Okay, swapsies and (laughs) swapsies. Okay. Unlimited power. And I'm a crazy one. It's only a 14. I think everyone is probably a little bit 14. It's some kind of... It's got some kind of illusion spell on it, but you can't tell what it does exactly. It's the hat of many hats. It could be. I need more time to examine this. So what are you two doing whilst these two three are out the back? Unpetrifying Gregory. Okay. Yeah. So you unpetrify Gregory. So yeah, you basically lather him down with a nice thick coating of blood. Um, and as you know, it goes through the process, same as it's happened twice now, slowly starts to crack and, you know, reveal bits and pieces of his flesh underneath. Your friend is about to be unpetrified. <laughs> you might want to watch that so you can rub it in later. I don't need to be there for this. You just sort of 
seems to listen. And then all of a sudden, there's a, a similar to the crisis one, except he doesn't jump. You see the legs like curl up, and he goes into like this fetal position. He's like, ah, "Don't kill me!" All right. You're all right. You're all right. It's gone. He's it gonna killed it. Slowly looks out. And... God, what happened? It's dead, we... and you are not. Yes, we've only really? died you. Yes. It's only been three thousand years. Don't listen to her, That's it's an not. leaving one. You see, at the mention of the he just goes white. <laughs> you just turn to the other bloke with the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of starts looking around. Where's, where's Josh? I ate him. He was delicious. Oh my god, Kara. He's <laughs> His eyes just up. like, hey. Go completely wide, and he's just like, How can he's you hear he starts all the way out the front. She's lying. Big she goblins. is a playful goblin. Um, oh, so when she, oh, she's a playful goblin. She does it go- playful. She goblin? Is- There's goblins here? <laughs> Get them away from me. He starts just backing away into a corner. Away Joshua, from come out. Please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. uh, did he at least hear him? <laughs> He didn't really sound like himself. Hi, my name is Azula. I'm from the church of Zambe Are. We, we just unpetrified you. I apologize for our team member. She is a prime star. It's only been around six months. Joshua is here to the basilisk is dead. Roll me a diplomacy. I even have a thing about calming people. What is that? Yes, you do. People? I have, when they, well, one, their fear is less around me with my martial aura. Two, uh, what is it? You know how cats' eyes do that reflecty thing when you shine a light on them? First impressions, Uh, my strong suit. Do goblin eyes do the same thing? Uh, Yeah, they would. Because you guys have dark vision. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah, they do the exact same thing. I was just making sure. (laughs) (laughs) Luckily, my my diplomacy is so high. That's 11. 11 total? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're trying to calm him down. um, And he doesn't appear to be paying any attention to you because he's staring at something in the court, like past you off to the right. Two shining eyes in the darkness. <laughs> Guys, stop it. I'm not... <laughs> like, what the fuck are you looking at? Stealth check. You can't see anything. <laughs> Just a glint. <laughs> Disappears and appears closer. <laughs> Ro- yeah, Romeo stealth. Uh, <laughs> uh, 22. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to assume that you're trying to stay perfectly visible to him. But out of sight of everyone. Mostly else. the eyes and teeth. Yeah, just the eyes and teeth. <laughs> but everybody else you're trying to stay like concealed from? Okay. It's like, I Both of you two <laughs> roll me a perception test. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they at least Come on, Smith, I'm you get 18. 25. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. So you have a quick look around and you can see Kakran like up against the wall, just like staring in. <laughs> This guy's general direction. Just a single finger. <laughs> There's nothing there. What are you doing? Billy's <laughs> 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 like, yeah, that's Slowly turns back. Are you injured? <laughs> injured him. Oh, not at the moment. <laughs> I mean, if that thing keeps getting closer. <laughs> Oh, I know that sound. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. That's just the giant rats. Rats? Yeah, she's right here. Just this rat me. pops up out of the thing. Because <laughs> I can just picture this guy is already freaking out and this rat head pops up. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't worry, she's mostly tame. That's not true. She'll shit in your mouth. I said mostly. But you're the fucking asshole. Don't you call me that. Ow! Shit! You're mean. You know what? How about we go outside? <laughs> no, come this way! 
Come deeper into the lair. At this point, you'd hear the sound of footsteps. Well, you'd hear the sound of footsteps behind you from all of you. As you'd see, Josh was just walking in just with a... Get up, you sack of shit. And he sort of locks eyes. Gregory locks eyes. He says, <laughs> okay. Just like poke my head around the corner to look at his face. Just <laughs> <laughs> another set of small eyes and teeth. Uh, actually, multiply. actually, that also be Floxy as well. <laughs> 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 he sort of looks. Uh, what, what's happening? We're an unconventional group. <laughs> Josh just looks down at him. He's just like, "Stop being a little." God's blouse, get up, we're gonna need your help. <laughs> Time to grow a pair. And with that, he just turns and walks back around. Oh. <sighs> um, Gregory slowly gets to his feet, yeah. and you can see he's like, his hands are shaking, and he's still white. Gregory, uh, there are other people petrified here, and we didn't have enough blood from the basilisk to unpetrify them. Oh, how delightful. So we need your help to carry them back to the guild hall. Oh. Oh, that doesn't sound too bad. No. What did There's you no think we were ask? I don't know. The dangerous creatures are gone. Let me hear well. your liver. <laughs> okay. Please ignore the gods. <laughs> like, I'll step out He's, of the light. No, no, no. He seems to slowly be getting used to the yeah. odd fucking <laughs> just, yeah, just, comments. He's just, like, looking like, looking he flinches at it a little bit, but he doesn't seem to, Let you know. Let me hear your liver. Fucking house on the rock. <laughs> Just, just, <laughs> <laughs> that, that one, after. everyone just sort of. Just, <sighs> just, just <sighs> come out of the way. Oh, then, yep, uncontrollable laughter. I lost my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, Gaga just. <laughs> <laughs> my nonna has bigger balls than you. If you're gonna roll a one, that's when you wanna do it. <laughs> Oh, shit. I assume it's poisoned. No, it's deer. Oh, is that oh, the one horse. we killed? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. It's probably okay. Why would I take anything from you? Don't be an ungrateful asswipe. Because we literally just saved your life. <sighs> there were six people here that all could have been resurrected. But we chose you. You're one of the three that we could use the blood of. Why would you trust us? We could have left you here. I could have just sat back there laughing as Kakran fucked with you. Yeah, so and I'm sure you... Josh told you to resurrect me so that he could just have me and handle stuff around as per usual. Mm -hmm. Shut up down there. <laughs> he gave good arguments for all, si all, si all situations. Yeah, whatever. I don't need your charity. <laughs> Fuck you then, Floxy here. You just sort of go walk slowly walk <coughs> outside. Don't drink the water. Right. And don't don't stray too far. There is something up out there, uh, like a, a giant eagle. So. Also, the water's fainted by te fainted by tay magic. Yeah, he'll work it out. <sighs> Whatever. He just walks outside. Josh, he he will come back, right? You you. Just his he's a little entitled. Ah, oh, so he's a nobleman. I, I get. Oh, he I just, thought he was gonna come in, son of a noble, come straight to a certain rank. <sighs> That's not how it works. With the masters of the sword, you have to earn your place. <sighs> he did get a certain level of, you know, not everyone gets to understudy under a chimera. But why would you be under a chimera? That sounds like a terrible time. Well, that's my rank. Is that high? <laughs> We're unfamiliar with the guild. Above average. I visited the hall. Second high, the second <coughs> lowest rank. I don't know what's that was. Sergeant in the army, normally. Uh, corporal. No, the corporals don't exist in the army. Ah. It's like lying. Shit kicker. Then sergeants. Then. <laughs> yeah. uh, Henry second from the bottom. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. Yeah, but so he's second from the bottom on a three tier system. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Yeah, there's a lot more distance between ranks. 
Yeah. Um, the police say it's still funny. Yeah. <laughs> what the That's fine. Yeah. Um, because she's the bottom and he's like one step above her. <laughs> yeah, he, you don't usually just get to understudy under someone above you. You usually have to just work your way up through the ranks. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. So nobility does have its privileges, mm -hmm. but he still has to work for it. I suppose you'd probably be the most likely to get on with him, but being from a fancy place. Would you say upper echelon? Echelon? Born with Echelon. eight different sets of spoons in your, your rucksack. It's a hobby. Everyone <clears throat> can have a hobby. It's more than eight. Um, jerky? Yeah, thanks. Nice. I haven't eaten in six months. Yeah, that's fair. You want a drink? <laughs> Where'd you get the water from? I wasn't offering water, I was gonna offer you some wine or... Oh, fuck yeah. Like, a swig of whiskey if you want, but... Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me the hot stuff. Actually, do we still have any wine? I thought um, we had whiskey. The moment of panic and flashbacks and uncertain about why. <laughs> Just brief moments of falling. <laughs> You're all right. I don't think I have. Uh, yeah, something. That was weird. No worries. No, no, I think we're fresh out. Oh no. Shopping trip. I don't think I added onto my thing. Oh, shit. Mm, I've g Look, you've been through a lot. You're allowed a little bit of this, but the rest is ours, okay? Yeah. Hand him a wineskin. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the wine that we got from the temple. The, the slutty lady the one. one. I mean, <laughs> no, he, he takes a sip of it. He's like, tastes right. <laughs> Choice. Back this way. I see you're a fine connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> we did some work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and what sort of work would that be, madame? I got a souvenir. I'll oh, top the sun pillowcase. <laughs> Used by yourself? Well, the... Oh, okay. Should I use this one stage? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the, the other souvenir from it we used oh, to help defeat the basilisk, so yeah. 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 Fair enough. Yeah, you'd be am... How? You'd be amazed what, what a bottle of uh, bodily fluids can do to someone's senses. Actually, I can understand how that would have been very helpful. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's yeah. almost very ingenious, useful. actually. Yeah. Cleaning. Cleaning? Oh. Cleaning. Press the digitation. It meant we didn't have to wash the sheets. We just flicked the slop into a bucket. We got all the work done for the night. We got some healing done. We got some wine. We got some food that we asked the kitchen for. Um, and then the, the, all of the bodily liquid fluids that we flicked into a bucket, we then put in a bottle and kept for just in cases. Recycling. Hmm. Well, it looks like it came in handy. It did. We might need another one. We can go back. Mm. I'm sure they'll take your services again. Yes, bodily fluids for wine. I wonder if anyone's thought of a market. Mm. That sounds like a horrible thing. We don't want that. Trust me, I'm pretty sure people have tried. It ends in a very bad way. What? You don't want that. Wait, do you mean making wine out of bodily fluids or trading bodily fluids for wine? Oh. Yeah, that makes more sense. I was talking about the former. That's what it sounded like to me, too. Yeah, that's that's what I was going uh, for. So, yeah, you blood wine. You're a filthy little fucker, aren't you? No, but I've heard about some of the things they do in the East. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Those orcs are disgusting. Anyway. Orcs. I was more thinking about up, up in the wastes. Some of the things they do up there, I, no, I don't really ever want to think about that, actually. Anyway. Mm, right, uh, did you get the tunnel done? Probably. Uh, Part way. You probably have enough for all of you to be able to squeeze through. Okay. <laughs> all right. It wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to take, like, all of your stuff up there. No, I can, 
and I mean, it's not going to be quick to try and get through, especially for, like for the goblins, it'll be fine, and for Lucille, but for yourself, it's going to be a bit of a tight fit. But oh. you'll be able to get through. I don't really have to take my armor off. No, right? no. Like, yeah, I can make some model. Right. It'll probably just take you another bit, half an hour or so. Half yeah. an hour. Did you, um, um, Joshua? Did you and Gregory want to stay and wait for us to come back before we, and we take the trip together? We do have some horses, hopefully, nice. around. Or. Uh, when do we have yeah, some it would be good if we could put the petrified people with the horses and bring them back that way. Yeah. Um, I should really go check on that moron. Yes. Make sure it doesn't wander too far to the face. I'll be back. Yeah, there's... They, He'll work it out. As you would have gathered, there's some fair around, so... <laughs> and magic Yeah, plans. we went past them on the way here. <laughs> How'd that go? Yeah, fine. Mm, they're very lovely. I mean, I was fine. Oh, he was arrogant, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't learn very quick. Yeah, I don't feel so bad about scaring the shit out of him. I don't either. It could have been worse. Somehow I feel like we're going to be friends. See. <clears throat> oh, see. My heart. Goes boom. <laughs> Did you boom? <laughs> and here I am sharing my wine with non-friends. <laughs> and I climb the thing to go back to Hammer and Rocks. <laughs> well, Maddie walks outside. What are the rest of you doing while Kara's busy fucking hammering away? Watching the exchange between Josh and Gregory yep. outside. So you sort of follow along a little bit of ways behind Josh. <sighs> Um, and you see Josh walks out and walks down a bit. <laughs> As you're walking, you probably, or well, you probably wouldn't hear. What are you two doing? Um, that depends on what she's doing. Yep. Unless you want to give this a whack. It depends on what she's doing. Um, uh, I could have a turn at that. Sure. Oh. All right. Well, she's banging away, and he. Uh, well, she's banging away, and while well, she's going for a walk, I'll put the hat on and try and work out what it actually does. Some sort of illusion is all I got. Yep. Oh, uh, perhaps you have some time to fix my shield. Yeah, I thought I'd get to read. Okay. Uh, of course, I get to sit down and not have the hammer. And now she gets to sit down and hammer. What if you use that hammer? To fix that, how would that go? That would not involve fixing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go and get the the shield. Mm-hmm. The tools. Oh, well, I, tools. Everything has. I would everywhere. assume that you guys would have pulled. I did the say I dragged it in with everything else. Inside. I just said I did just say into the cave. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. it'd be just inside the door. But yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. more than enough. Yeah. I'll head down there. I'm gonna clean the blood off. Shield. Well, you wouldn't have used yours because with it not being in a like it, with it being in a broken state, it, it, it wasn't has... broken. It was just that that had some hit points down. It was not oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Presentation. Uh, look at all the blood gone. You're not going to be able to fix the shield and listen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well you can listen. Yeah, so, as you're going, so you wouldn't hear, what are you doing? Um, if she's up that way I'm gonna come, and she's going down that way, I'm going to come into the main, the big part of the cave, just off to a dark corner, put the hat on, try and work out what it does. Oh yeah, yeah, no worries. Because she said it does some sort of illusion. Yep. So uh, I'm sure that um, can't be a hard one anyway. So, so you put it on, and you feel like there's some kind of magical ability there that you can activate. <laughs> I close my eyes and concentrate really, really hard. Yep. So you concentrate on it. I had to do thing. Um, and... Okay. I try not to shit myself. Probably just look over to you from just where I am next to the very, doorway. Like. Just half squat, looking very constipated. <gasps> okay, is, and... Is the scrambled egg baby getting to you? <laughs> Busy. <laughs> Maybe later. <sighs> is 
there like something that I can latch on to? There's just a very... no, no. There's something there, and it, you feel like it's waiting for you to picture s- something for it to activate. Like right. you've got it to activate, yeah, yeah. but it's waiting for something else. Uh, Instructions I, required. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you I, feel I, like there's more input required. I um I picture Lucille. She's about my sort of size ish. Yep. Okay. And then you feel the magic like goes through. Over my eyes. Yep. Look at my hands. Look at your hands. Yeah. The. What colour were you today? Brown. Brown? They're brown. I'm almost always brown. You're almost always brown. <laughs> Does my voice change? No. <laughs> what? Can How do I turn it off? Can I can I see this? Probably have dark vision. Uh, well, you can hear him laughing. No, but like, because he went in the front yeah, section. Yeah, I was worried about, about, I was worried about these two, not her. Yeah. yeah. Can I? Um, so if you look over and you hear him laughing, You'd see Lucille standing there with his own looking hat on. The same hat he had on when he looked like he was trying to take a dump. Looks like it. Kakran? I need you to come here for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's Kakran's voice, but it's Lucille saying it. <laughs> stack up, stack up, stack up! I jump on her shoulders and I try and picture um, um, Azula. Nothing happens. Oh. What'd you do? I don't know. I'll try again. Maybe it... Yeah, I'll try and turn it off first. Okay, you turn it off, yeah. and you turn back into Kakram. Yep, yeah, yeah, then and I try. feel no. the magic there. Ah, I broke it. <laughs> you know those things only have limited uses per day, right? Well, I do now. <laughs> okay, so... You have to fuck with us on We have to wait for tomorrow. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> you would know what it is from just him doing it. <laughs> Imagine what we could do to Gregory. <laughs> he could wake up to himself staring at himself. I mean, to be fair, the dude's lucky I didn't think to use the flickering thing. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, it's a hazard disguise. of disguise. Really? Hell yeah. Nice. Let's have a read. Cool. Okay, so as you're walking, you know, you keep a bit of a distance behind mm-hmm. Josh, One, but you know, so you walk down. It takes a minute to You see, yeah. he sort of stops. <laughs> and then he's like, Oi, dirtbag! And you sort of look down the road, and you can all hear that from inside as well. Sorry. Except you, you can't hear it in fact, but you're crushing. It's like, I do this to it's like, almost say, I'm right here, before I realise <laughs> that I'm always talking yeah. to someone else. And you sort of look past him, and you see <laughs> Gregory has knelt down by the river and was just about to take a <laughs> drink of water. Poison! Do it, you coward. He sort of stops and looks up at Josie's. What? And Josh is like, did you not listen to what the gnome said about the water being not good to drink? He's like, and why would I listen to what those midgets have to say? (laughs) Tell them to drink it. You wouldn't be able to hear this from inside, but you would. Oh, okay. I'll go back to you. You you would have heard the shout, (laughs) but you wouldn't hear any of the the rest of the conversation. Casually step out into the light, axe drawn, just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gregory would see that and, like, eyes would go wide. <laughs> Josh wouldn't look back at you, but he'd just keep going. He goes, Well, I can assume that that midget probably has more life experience than you are ever going to have if you continue along this path, because if you probably drink that water, you'll probably end up in the river drowning before the third fucking. System that goes past your lips. But I mean, who am I? By all means, go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Gregory just sort of, he seemed like falter for a second because he's like, he's like looking between you and Josh. And he seems like sort of go to take another sip, like, oh, like grab another me. handful, and then he just sort of, nah, whatever, gets up, and Josh reaches down, pulls off a water skin off his belt, and throws it at him. If you're thirsty, drink out of that. You sip up. <sighs> oh. 
actually saunter over. Looks a bit thirsty there, See, mate. You insult me or my clan again, then it'll be the last thing that ever comes out of your mouth other than the blood from your own lungs. Oh, yeah. And what's some little midget like you gonna do about it? Step forward and swing Push me right the just before his knee so that it grazes the clothing at the knee joint but doesn't cut through. Roll me the attack. Yeah. Say, like, ooh, 13, I think. Was that rolling a 13 or? 12 altogether. 12 altogether? Yeah. Ah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so you basically, you get it perfect so that it, it grazes just in front of the armor and it, you hear the, the faintest ting of it hitting like the plate in, on like his shin or something like that as it swings in front of him and you just sort of pull the axe back around. <laughs> he sort of looks down at you. Then swing the shield up and hit him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> <Cold shield>. Nice. <laughs> See, you're about to do that, and Josh just sort of grabs the shield, and then just reaches back and just slocks him straight in the jaw. <laughs> he goes, "I don't need you to fight my battles for me, my dear." He insulted me. I know, but he's my charge. Oh, all right. I need to teach him some respect. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> Because at oh, this point... I'm sorry, shouldn't have overstepped. <laughs> no, no, no. He's dishonouring me at this point. Ah, guild was names. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> and John, Gregory's just standing there, he's like... Ugh! And you can see, like, he like spits onto the ground, two teeth come out, along with, like, a splatter of blood. He's like, what the hell was that for? And Josh just turns around, grabs him by the throat, and just lifts him up. He's like... That's because you're a stupid little boy that doesn't understand how the world works and just throws him against a tree. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> just waiting for Princess Sparkles to just be like, yeah, take that. <laughs> 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 like, full Pascal moment. <laughs> I mean what I said though. Oh, 100%. I can understand that. Now. You would not be the first person I have put in the ground. <laughs> I don't doubt that for a second. I don't think he quite understands how much skill it takes not to cut someone's leg off when you mean to. But again, young pups don't really understand what real skill is. Young. So, shut up in there. Just <laughs> me. <laughs> You're still a child. Shut up. You can't prove that. And with that, he basically just gets up. And just, All right. Time for you to go gather some firewood, I think. And he sort of... Yes. And he just sort of walks off and starts gathering firewood. Pulls out a little hatchet on his belt and starts cutting away. Which, then, as he sort of, you know, just... where'd my wand go? What wand? Wand is just back in the town. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of looks around and he goes, "I, I had a wand." It's been like six months, oh. mate. <sighs> yeah, of course, the one thing my parents actually give me before I come, gone. I want to feel bad. Do you? Well, clearly it wasn't the only thing they gave him. <laughs> yeah, well. But yeah, he walks off with his hatchet and starts cutting up bits of wood. You watch as he like walks up to a tree and starts cutting off branches from the actual tree. That's green wood. You, just, you see, Josh puts that hand on your shoulder. <laughs> figure it out eventually. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to have the smokiest fire and we won't. <laughs> Aww. He's got a cock run, but less useful. 
See, I'm rather useful because I'm not that keen. I wouldn't put that much work in. I think I'm going to grab this is fucking easier. <laughs> 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 Not without some time passes, you're able to widen the Ugh. tunnel that you're working on to the point where you'd be able to sort of like duck through. Takes you about another half hour, but yeah. <sighs> At this point, it would be getting almost dark. Like we're talking mm. early evening. Why don't we have torches? We've already had a bit of a rest What am I giving for the green? <laughs> <laughs> It is a very weird combination. Put away slightly green. Nice. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> See, what? Sorry, the so light's wrong. doing something with my eyes, Hold I up. think. Back to brown. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So are we going to camp with these two dickheads just for the sake of camping together? Because mm. they're obviously setting up. I roll pretty shit, so it was only a 14 to fix your shield. Okay. You don't make it any worse, which is good. <laughs> but you don't help make it any better at the moment. Okay. But if we're staying here for the night, I can just take yeah. the time I need to to fix it. Like, I'm sure I can. Josh lets you know, if you want, you can leave whatever you don't need to lug all the way up the here, and he can look after it. He'll make sure nobody, including Gregory, gets their greasy bits on it. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> no Don't think you'd be able to carry it all anyway. Mm. <laughs> Way too much shit. You wouldn't even yeah. know what to do with the pants stuff. Yeah. He, he'd probably toss it in the rig. I think he was dead weight. It's just like the daffodil that's like this yeah. big just sitting there. It's like, yeah. Oh. It's, yeah. All right. Should we go up? So, so is the sun down yet or not? No, it's probably mostly set, but it's still a bit of light at the moment. Mm. If nothing else, we can at least scout around up, yeah, up, exactly. uh, upstairs. Yeah, sure. upstairs. Upstairs. Up, upstairs. Up, 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 I mean, I can refer Because this. Lucille has historically been fantastic at climbing. Oh, are we climbing? I thought we were just going through this. Was it hard? Yeah, so you basically climb up these, well, climb, but you, it's basically just a bit of a scramble up the thorn okay. and now dusted rocks. Mm -hmm. um, and that leads you out through this passage mm -hmm. that leads up to where it, obviously this trail continues. You can see it. Mm -hmm. it ha it's a lot less used oh, okay, at the yeah. moment, but there is a trail that leads through. Can I have the ammo back? Yeah, sure. Yes. There you go. Mm -hmm. Fresh. It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Alright. Where is this water? You can definitely hear it coming from a bit further off to the east. So that way somewhere. Yeah. I wonder if the light rainbow spray comes out during the dark. Mm. Mm. Being true. Yes. Alright, but you guys start making your way towards where the... You can hear the sound of the waterfall from where you are. So yeah. it's not hard to follow that. Mm -hmm. And f by following that noise, you're basically following the trail as well. And it basically leads from where you guys came out of this cave all the way through and to where it comes out to this sort of, you know, plateau, I guess, for want of a better term, mm -hmm. at, the top of the, at the top of the waterfall. Um, and you can see either side of the waterfall is these odd crystal formations at the top. How big are they? Mm, that big, but they appear to like go further into the rock. Okay. Like these are just where they come out of the top. Yep. I did say we didn't need to have a massive one, just an intact one. Yeah. Um, but as you're looking at it, you can see the water coming from upstream here just seems perfectly normal. And as soon as it hits the waterfall, Whatever happens to it, happens to it, and as it hits the waterfall and goes over, it turns rainbow. Okay. And we're also told not to touch it with our hands, the crystal. Yeah. I should have my notes. Um. Da -da. Big <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't touch the, that was my mouth, not my hands. The bigger crystal size, the better. And your I'm face. Really Still not hands. When you were seeing this tall, are you talking off the table or off the no, ground? No, off the ground. Okay. Yeah. Very big. Yeah. Alright, um, so much to carry already. 
It looks like crystals that have literally come out of the ground. Mm -hmm. And as if you look over the side of the cliff, you can see them like jutting out of the cliff itself. Hmm. So that hammer would just turn it into dust? Not necessarily. Depends. It didn't do that to the yeah. the fly trap. Plus, it may not be, it may not affect magical books. Is there like a small crystal? Like a little, like a... You can see smaller ones around the base of the bigger ones. Like yeah. smaller ones that only appear to have started like protruding out of the ground. Like essentially, is there one that I can test the hammer on without yep. fucking everything up? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so you walk over. Um, where are you hitting it? So if it's like this, yep. I guess I do the base to see if I can like essentially remove the dirt that's around the base of the crystal. So you're hitting the dirt, not the crystal itself? Uh, actually no, we'll try hitting the crystal itself, that was part okay, of Okay, so you want to try hitting the crystal? Yep. Yep, so you hit the crystal like side on mm -hmm. and you, it makes this odd sort of tinging noise, like metal on glass almost. Mm -hmm. I would also put on my blacksmith's gloves for this okay. so I can Yep. without okay, so touching gonna, my skin. Are you going to hold the top of the crystal? Uh, not if it might explode. No, okay. no. I'm just going to... Then... Yep, so you hit it and you watch <clears> as a perfect like line cuts across the bottom of the crystal and it just sort of flops onto the ground. Excellent. <laughs> Do we have another bag for that one? We've got a sack. You've got the silk pillowcase. Oh, we could use the silk pillow. Oh, could we use it for the crystals? Didn't you say you had a sack? I do have a sack. Yes, but there's multiple crystals. I had three sacks. One's got a seed. <clears throat> One's got a flower. One oh. had flower. Now a flower bulb. Oh, I've got a flower sack. Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah no... Oh, would well, that have burnt up? I don't know. No, that would have burnt up in the fire, unfortunately. <laughs> Stupid Hessian sack. How dare you be fire? <laughs> How dare you be <laughs> flammable? <laughs> okay, well... Yeah, we One's got, got the tainted... Dirt and obsidian. Yeah, we do have a pillow sack. Yeah. yeah. I have if, no more sacks. If I can acquire that other empty healing potion bottle, then I'll put the little crystal in that. So I'm acquiring it's jars of things. We're talking yeah. like when oh. I say little, this one's like this long. Oh, she a big boy. And okay. like the healing salve bottles are about you know maybe that big, but like the top of them, yeah. like, uh. like that, and the crystal itself is probably bigger. Uh. Than the actual bottleneck. I mean, what if we just got one big one in the sack? Yeah, what well, that, want... that little one I can just put in my backpack. I mean, you could. Just like down the bottom where I'm not going to accidentally touch it with my hands without my Wrap it in a handkerchief. I have a handkerchief. Here, yeah, give me a bit of that one cloth. <laughs> Actually, I haven't got my winter clothes on at the moment. Yeah. Just. If we're not using our winter clothes, we could wrap them in that. Yes. Just lay out the jacket. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Cool. You could get quite a few crystals and wrap it up in a jacket. Mm hmm. We want yep. a big one. Just What's for the sake The biggest one we think we could get and carry. <laughs> I. I <laughs> do we have enough stuff to make another stretcher? I mean, it sticks and Lucille right, can yes. make another stretcher out of what's around here. It wouldn't be hard. Like, I. Bog. Well, not bog. Branch. Yeah, it's like a couple two. branches. And some rope. There's we have some. Plenty of. These, or yeah. You've got rope, but there's yeah. some decent enough vines around here that you could use to make yeah. bush stretcher. Yeah. The yeah. issue is going to be finagling it through the forest mm -hmm. without touching it. Um, so we wrap it in the cloak. Tie it down. We wrap it first. Mm, if we're talking about one big enough to require a stretcher, it's going to need like probably all four cloaks to wrap it. I wonder if Gregory's got a cloak. Well, he'll need that cloak. Oh, <laughs> um, we won't, because we'll be too busy carrying these heavy chunks of friggin' glass. But that's the other thing, if you're carrying one of these, it means that some, but probably at least one person that can't carry one of the petrified individuals. You also have another cart that needs to be dragged, so mm. now you're looking at two people that can't carry petrified people. Yeah. Like when I said big, I meant just my 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 pillowcase. 
team tied up. There's your, there's your big ones, the size of a fucking pillowcase. How big do you want? You know? There'd be a couple like that. Yeah, the pillowcase mm-hmm. size is good, I think. Yep. Cool. There's our big one, which is ridiculously huge as it is. Oh, we don't need more than that. If you spend half an hour hunting, you can get a weather jacket's worth of smaller ones mm-hmm. and one big one that fits basically the whole pillowcase. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Okay. I, I feel like that's overachieving. <clears throat> we should be to the to the <laughs> I was going to yeah. wear the, the winter mittens. Yeah. That also seems to be working fine. Yeah. I assumed it was. If it wasn't, I'd... Uh, then it sucks to be me, I guess. Uh, yeah. As you're all up here, what will be really fortune says? Here we go, boys. Wham! Oh, Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Twenty. <laughs> well, excellent. Plus nine. <laughs> All right, so as the three of you are working, working, or well, what are you put doing whilst this is ongoing? It's like probably keeping an eye out, <clears throat> an ear out, not an eye, mm. for potential beasties. Okay. Maybe a stretch on you for the, the stone. So the three of you, you'd get this odd feeling in the back of your mind, like there's something behind you that keeps looking at you and every time you look behind like over your shoulder you get this odd sensation like you want to lick one of the crystals you two every time you pick one up you kind of just want to stick it in your mouth (laughs) Lucille I'm feeling awfully kakrani at the moment (laughs) and as you can I, can I like... As you yeah. take, as you stop yourselves, you start to get parched. We used to have a key lime pie. That was our maid made. It was delicious. And it's this... You ate this, your maid? Exactly. Co- exact colour of it. Don't fucking put that in your mouth. It's poison. <clears throat> Delicious poison, but poison all the same. <laughs> delicious, delicious poison. Oh, this looks so tasty. Okay, we should leave now. Stop messing with your stilty, filthy, dirty bastards. But I'm helping. I stop looking at the back of my fucking head. Hard to do the, sissy, the seal voice in that yeah. accent. No, that's fine. Mm. Yeah, it's, I think... You don't hear anything back. Don't need to. Yeah, this, we've taken what we need, we don't need more. Oh, I think we may have taken too much. At this point, you'd only have about half the jacket's worth. Oh, I mean, well, I didn't feel the thing. I just feel like licking it, so... No, 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 so mm-hmm. the longer you don't, mm-hmm. you start feeling parched, like as in you've been under a baking ah. desert sun all Does day. Does anybody have any water? Well, there's some right there. Uh, <laughs> I know not to do yeah. No, 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 sorry. <gasps> the stuff from upstream before it hits the waterfall isn't tainted. You, I... Like, you can see it, and you probably would have gone over and had a look mm. and confirmed that it's fine. Yep. See, you should have had some of the water that would build up your immune system. So I can drink that? You can drink that water. Right. I'll do it with my hand. Yep. I would add that, 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 that. Wait, no, we weren't touching anything I with our hands. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, just, sorry. But I can't use my water bottle, let's go. Oh, it's here, done. my water skin has no more water in it. Oh, thank you. Yep. You take a drink and it just tastes sour and unsatisfying. It doesn't help with the burning dryness in the back of your throat. Ooh. Like, it's this odd sensation. It tastes like you're drinking sand. Are you sure you didn't pass me wine or something? (laughs) Actually, that's a good idea. Here, let me try my wine. Take a sip of it. Exactly the same. Oh, this shit. We should probably, like... Leave. Yeah. Um, How many are in the, the jacket? You'd have probably about six, and you wouldn't have a big one by this stage. Oh, we need. We just want the big one. Do we need the big one? No, I mean, I'm working on it. What were the exact instructions we were given? He just wants samples. Yeah. There we go. Oh, my notes. He just said bigger crystal size, the better. Yeah, the bigger the better. Mm. But he just needs some samples. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Well, you seem fine, so yeah. you can keep getting the thing. You're well, in the process of it, so just... Well, Tali like, should have had a drink. <laughs> I don't know why, no. All right, well, <laughs> it's obviously not affecting you because you're already... Did it earlier. Here, let me whack that for you and you can deal with the big one. Okay. Sack I'm going to have to sit out. Just... Drag it away. Mm -hmm. uh, just bringing you... the dust. <laughs> <clears throat> Delicious. Yeah, can you wrap up the jacket for me while I fix this with Kakra and then we go. Mm. Okay. So as the, the four of you finish up and start to walk away, I need three of you to roll fortune saves again. <laughs> Fourteen. Nine. <laughs> More than both of them put together. <laughs> 24. Nice. So yeah, you start to walk away and you're fine. And as you do, you notice those they've both stopped. Oh, shit. <laughs> You've both stopped and you just... I want to lick it. I can't see the taste. It's so good. It looks like a sweet key lime pie. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Alright, well, I could just sit here and watch this. Or. I shouldn't touch it. I shouldn't touch it. Uh, it already belongs to someone else. You can't lick it. You're right. It's not mine to lick. Don't touch it. It's not it. Can we leave yet? Or are we just. You guys are just standing there. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. What are the other two doing? I mean, they're just, basically just standing there staring back at the crystals. All right, off we go. Are you pushing them back away? Yes. Or? yes. No, I'm pushing them back towards the crystals off the edge into the water. Into the waterfall. I don't know. Definitely. It's you. <laughs> you could be. I mean, that is how I fix the problem, isn't it? <laughs> no, I push them away. It's like, just move. Home. Food. Okay. They don't seem to really resist as you push them away. And then about, you know, four or five meters after pushing them, something just changes and you snap out of it. Like everything goes away. The urge to go back, the burning in your back of your throat, everything just stops. Who was pushing me away? Well, we Karkaran was pushing Kara. Are you going to push? Just just casually <laughs> just guiding. Yeah, you're you just going to guide. Like, yeah. One hand on the elbow and the other one on the lower, small of the back. And just yeah. come you on can this reach way. my elbow? I can reach up. Mm. Like it's a, I just always imagine you like a shoulder is this table. about this big. Yeah, <coughs> so yeah big. and your arms can go higher yeah. than that. It's like... Oh. Yeah, <laughs> someone as tall as that table can still reach like... You know. Yeah. yeah. Like well, this is... Like, sir... This is your head, my elbow's here. I can reach almost the roof. Yeah. Like if you think of Alex... Ah! She can touch your elbow. Like if mm. she comes up to you, like if you think of a small child, they, they can still... But yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So Lucille seals so slowly going. But again, there's no mm. real resistance. Mm. Just casually walk around there, just, just sudden shift in the weight. Just a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was weird. We should have the Yeah, and then all of a sudden, again, four or five meters away, just snaps out of it completely. It's almost like you just. Ah. Right. So, do we have up. enough of this? Crystal? Yep. Yeah, yep. I don't think any more would be. Could I have more water again? Yeah, let me just try the water first. Tastes fine. Oh, that's so much better. Here you go. Oh, thank God. Still, the throat feels parched from. No. No. No, it's all gone. Mm -hmm. Everything about switch. it is just gone. Mm. It's just a psychomatic need for water now. Mm, okay. Yeah, you would probably want to have a drink because yeah. your brain was still like, oh, I needed water, but Hayley yeah. Hayley wants water. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Imagining it. Cool. Um, whoever is going to be carrying the big crystal, I'm guessing you, uh -huh. do you want to put that on your inventory that you've got that? Ah, uh, sure. Big fat <clears throat> crystal. Pillowcase crystal. Mm -hmm. PPC. <clears throat> no, PCC. So... Cloak full of crystals. Do we? Yeah, we that was my stuff. So I imagine it would go back in my bag. Cool. Alright, here's a cloak. You have one big. That's cool. Cool. <clears throat> okay. I 
and she's stronger than you. You know, ten oh, minutes later, okay. you'd appear okay. back in the cave. Yeah, we probably shouldn't tell them. Off to talk to go. them about what we were doing up here in this. Just fetch a drink. <laughs> Just in case Gregory gets any fucking ideas. Also, we <laughs> have. We don't have to worry about bringing him back with us. Yeah, we need him to carry mm. the statue. Yes. And just because he's misguided. Oh, he's an asswipe. That too. People can change. Yeah. Plus, the difference is we had permission from the Fae. Mm. Yeah. Accurate. We, the Fae gave us permission, not other people, us in exchange for helping them find the Queen. Yes. So, so it was six. Yeah, you've got six smaller crystals in the so, jacket. Yeah, so There's one big one. Um, wow, that is slow for some reason. Yep. Are you so still I'm... running mooses? Good. You know, it's, still, it's probably still in, on in the background, actually. I don't think I closed it. Good. That's... No, it is a bit slow also. I think the um, server's getting a bit... Overworked? It slows down the longer it's on. Ah, uh, yeah. Handy. All right, but as you guys come back into the cave, you hear the sounds of a crackling fire coming from out the front, um, and you'd sort of come back into the front area, and you'd see, you know, Josh sitting there on the ground, just sort of slowly billowing away at his pipe. Mm -hmm. Gregory just sort of sitting in a corner, arms crossed, just staring, staring at the ground in front of him, slowly massaging the side of his face a little bit. How smoky is the fire? Uh, it looks fine, but it's also outside. Okay. Yeah, it's not inside at the moment. Fair. Um. How is your rations? Do you, do they get petrified with you? Well, I didn't see any bags. Yeah, we kind of hid all our stuff in a hide. It's probably gone now. Alright, well, here's, here's some for you. There you go, Gregory. We have well, spares. Well, aren't we just going to cook? What are we cooking? We don't have anything fresh. It's the same stuff we normally cook. Oh, see. See. Give us a minute. <laughs> Go on the back. Yep. <laughs> Inspect the, the carcass. Yep. Is there any potentially usable meat? Roll me a survival test. All right. Let's, let's have a look at this. Let's Plus see. Plus eight. Every has the potential to be usable. Ooh, ten. <laughs> ten total. Yep. I got a two. You have a look at it. Has been here for a while. It'll do for the goblins. It's been here for a while. It has been mostly bled, which is a good sign. Um, it's already fairly charred on one side. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, on both sides, because you were peppering oh, yeah. both sides with produced yeah. flame. Um, you think you might be able to get some cuts out of it, but it's. I you wouldn't really know until you started cutting. I didn't set fire to the tail. Tails are always the best Tail part. is... Kangaroo tails, the yeah. thing? Yeah, no, no, 100%. A, a snake is essentially all tail. All right, well, let's take a stab at this tail then. Okay. See if we can do anything useful with it. Yeah. Survival again. All right, that's a lot better. 22. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're looking over the body and you're like, what am I going to do with any of this? And then you sort of like looking around you uh, <laughs> oh yeah, the butthole. <laughs> the butthole, and then the things that come out. Butthole. So you walk down, and you basically you know, like, <coughs> like get about probably a length this long towards the end. Mm -hmm. You're like, yep, that'll do, and just sort of axe off, come back. Just pots. Just as you're doing that, I'll like acquire the this you skillet. And ah, my pots yes. that were covered in blood and just like pressed the vegetation and cleaned mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. It doesn't take you long to dress it either. So basically get cool. the skin off, mm -hmm. fill it out, get rid of some of the more problematic bones, but most of it looks pretty similar to your standard tail sort Excellent. of thing. Yeah. Um, Fat snake, as we like to call it. Yeah. Um, you've got a couple of options really. You can either completely bone it and just use the meat, or you could leave the like tailbone in, put like a stick at either end and just rotisserie it. I was thinking in the slices of steaks. Yeah, that'd also work. Tail steaks. Tail steaks. Yeah, and you sort of <laughs> cut it up with the bones. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. 
He's like, right, who wants to be the first guinea pig? Dibs. I. He's like, yes. Yeah, 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 the girl was like, food? Meat? <laughs> no. Yep. Repeat a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want some uh, some spices? I've got some flavoring. You know that that might be nice with a little bit of time. I think you do it afterwards, don't you? Well, it depends. Sometimes you do it partway through the cooking process, so the herbs don't burn, but it still flavors the meat. Anyway, just it's like it's, 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 it's just a fork that I'm using. Just yeah. It's, it's, Blacksmith tongs. Squidge enough. All right. It's like, it's like, <laughs> flop. Uh, I have hands, it's fine. <laughs> so we've got wooden plates. Yeah. I've got a fire resistance one, it's fine. Yeah. It's not fire, this is hot water. Fire's hot. <laughs> Water's fire bad. Shouldn't be. Um, yeah, like, it's warm. Like, it's hot, obviously, because yeah. it's just come off the grill. Um, it's edible hot, or is it? Oh, it's definitely edible. Hell yeah. It's well, warm. I mean... You've eaten worse. Yeah, do I need a roll? We're, we're right? actually We've already eaten. eaten worse today. Do I need a roll a save for this, or is it actually fine? Um, no, you bite into it. It tastes... It's odd. It's crunchy, which is not what you were expecting. Like, even the meat itself seems to almost be... Like crackling? No, it's almost like it's... Granulated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's semi-petrified. It's full of gravel. Yeah, sort of. But, like, as you bite into it, it's... It's almost like the meat has semi, like, preserved itself. Yeah. Naturally. Like, the meat just naturally does that. Like, that's how the creature exists. Um, we should see if we can get more of this. <laughs> I only have one tail. And cooking it doesn't seem to have damaged it in any way. So it's just like, like you've got cooked meat, and then you've got warm jerked meat in there as well. Mm. So it's like, odd. It's, it's a sensation you've never had before, but it is not bad. What's that face? I want to try it. Give me some. Further experimentation needed anymore. <laughs> give, 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 give. You can't be sure yet. Give me, give me, give me, give me. It's like, you're dead. All right. <laughs> they're not dead and they're fighting over it. That's probably a good sign. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, so, I licked right. it first. Next. Biting cows is licking. Yeah. So, proceed cooking through the rest of the tail. <laughs> Josh walks over and he's like, uh, yeah, I can uh, probably take a slice if you want. No, me next. <laughs> By all means. Actually, I've, I've got a pot I can start cooking stuff too if I need to. Oh, fingernails I can sort of probably kind of cook with. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> just, just <laughs> and just a bit of pressed vegetation to make the herbs go in. And yeah, right up. Yeah, the addition of the herbs definitely enhances the flavour. It's something. It's like extremely old aged steak, but not in a bad way. <sighs> this is fantastic. Um, at this point, Josh would probably have started cooking up some of his own stuff, like he'd have. You're not sure where, but he found some vegetables. Oh, I thought he said he didn't have anything. <laughs> he didn't, he got some. He said that the stuff oh. they had hidden away is probably not there anymore. Yeah. Mm. Dangerous. Which is what close. Is it might not be what he found. Oh. Would you like Eden. would you like some help and some flavoring? The the flavors actually go really nice with <laughs> the steak. Well I was planning on training some. What I thought we'd just be sharing by the fire. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I didn't have to build this fire, so it's good you can have some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, Hey, this is it with the, the flavors. Mm. Try it. Yeah, it gets like it yeah. basically just a lot of vegetables. Yeah, I imagine it just turns into a nice little communal Stim cooking yeah. kind of. Eventually, Gregory comes over because he's, you know, hungry. <laughs> hungry and he can smell the food. <laughs> it's just like me seasoning the meat as like Lucille takes it off as Lucille's like crisping everything perfectly. It's like. Goblin food, 
As I just like pass a pull over to Azula, I'm like, what a shame you don't like the smoke, okay? <laughs> he goes to have a plate. He just glares down at you. This is that meat. Oh. Right? Yeah. It's actually quite delicious. I have flavored it. I mean, if you don't want to. You used to eat fancy, exotic dead animals in your high palace place. Yes, but it was professional chefs. All right, she doesn't want to give. Wait, I'm. I would like to try. I know what good food tastes like. It tastes like a very. <laughs> I have society now, so I can actually say. I don't know how to Josh cook it. Josh is a city man. I know how he's, good. He's tearing off chunks of this meat and putting his mouth like. Now, I know you know what good food tastes like. Mm. But do you know what good food tastes like? Um, I don't understand the definition difference. Well, there's a difference between fancy key lime pies and then there's like the perfect baked bread that your grandmother makes with like herb encrusted with the scent of garlic that just smells like home and See, warms the soul. She gets it. Yeah, soul food. This might just be no good. This, <coughs> this is good food. High five. Try it. I, I, I will. I will. You've got that mix of vegetables going on in there too. Mm -hmm. You know, Joshua, oh uh, sorry, not Joshua, Greg, uh, Gregory, if you said please, <laughs> we might even have a plate that we could share with you. He just sort of sits down and he's like, I mean, if you were nice, you'd just give me some. I'll fight you for it. I'll let you win, don't worry. It'll make it look good. Someone who is of noble birth would probably know better than to try to steal another man's kill. Also, don't try and use your fancy if you were nice. That manipulation bullshit won't work here. I thought nobles were taught manners. Azula has manners. I, is that not a noble person thing? Uh, Josh is just sitting there chuckling to himself. Okay, well, manners, usually you present that in the court systems. No, but you still say please and thank you. You don't try to manipulate free shit out of me. I'm nice. I Fuck you. don't, um, but... So is that not what I'm manners not. is? That, that is manners, but you manners is a tool of sorts in the higher nobility. Okay, so Gregory is a tool. Thank you very much, Azula. Wonderful. That is not what just, uh, I was going with. Anyone want a cup of tea? No. Yeah, right. Okay. What type of tea? Oh. <laughs> Josh looks confused. Sure. Oh, tea. oh no! You might want to see what. It's been a long time. No, uh, no I'm no. offering normal tea. We're not having normal tea. a repeat right. of the halfling tea in the old lady. No, okay. Good. Oh, you're not having the fun stuff. No. Uh, last time it That's happened, it went kind of disappointment. Yeah, fine. I look. I've got a little bit stushed away uh, from how does the food thing. taste when I tasted it? Is it? I mean, it's it's good. It's good. Considering it's, it was. Grilled in a cave. It's not like a By a gnome that you've best. known for the last six months. It's a lot better than you were expecting. Like, you would probably prefer this over some of the meals you used to have on a regular basis out of the estate. Hmm. <laughs> you, 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 you have a little bit. And it's like... Okay, I take out my spoon. <laughs> I, I put out my spoon collection. <laughs> to pick the spoon. <laughs> yes, now that I'm going to continue eating it. You probably want a steak knife. She has a spork. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a variety a of cutlery. Technically, they're not just spoons. I have a variety of cutlery. It's just the spoon thing was funny. Oh, just there are more spoons than anything else. Yeah, there's 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 ninety eight spoons, one fork, one knife. Actually, I if you would like a nice um, glass of wine, I think this might be a good occasion to have a glass of wine with this delicious meal. Uh, do, you, do you have a, a a cup? I'm I'm fine from not drinking here. It's too dangerous an environment for me to be safe, feeling I'm, safe with that. I'm, <clears throat> I'm talking a single glass. I don't have enough to get anybody drunk. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to try a no. thimble? No. Okay. okay. 
Cool. Yeah. All right, little cup. Do we have a cup? No. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm not filling that big thing with this, but okay. Is there only a small amount? Yeah, that's fine. Hell yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You've got cups not here. Do not fall into peer pressure. Only do no, it's, if you want it's fine. All you need to do is ask. The rat will tell us. That's all right. Mm. The rat's a snitch. If you decide that <laughs> you uh, you would like some, all you need to do is ask nicely with proper manners, <laughs> and I would be willing to share. Please do not give me any. <laughs> Wonderful manners, Lucille. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. As you're all sitting around, Gregory's sitting there and like, ah, I don't suppose you could give me some, please? We could. Ah. They take things literally. So if you say, can they, and they are capable of doing it, they'll say yes, but won't. It, it is a quiet yes. It's hard to get used to their cultural language of it. Would you please give me some of the food? Of course. Do you have a plate and a cup? Also, uh, would you like some wine? Yes. So, no to the plate and cup, yes to the wine. Yes. Um, I don't think I can use mine. I was going to say, I don't think I can use mine. I'm just like, I've got my hands, fuck it. Okay. Um, here's a little bit to drink. No, right. Here's a plate. And a plate. Here you go. There's a little you one of our knives. Uh, you're welcome, Gregory. He sort of grumbles and he starts eating. <laughs> he, his eyes probably light up at how good it is. Yeah, he sort of rips a bit of the flesh off and just like, like it's good, but I'm not going to tell you that. Yeah, he's, you see him put it in his mouth and he stops. And you see him like, he has to control himself. And then he slowly grabs a bit more and just takes it. <laughs> and you all watch as Josh is sitting there. He's like, <laughs> Why don't you try the wine? It's surprisingly good. <clears throat> he sort of gives you the side eye and takes a sip. Finishes half the <laughs> How are people feeling by the way? Um, I've been better. <laughs> I've also been a hell of a lot worse. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're not dead on a mountaintop. Zimbabwe dead on a mountaintop. And thanks you for your yeah. service today. Oh. And I'm going to heal you. Yeah. Well, you have to tell me that story. Oh, to be fair, I'll also heal twice as fast now, so maybe use that on someone else if they need it. You are the worst of us. Well, I'm the <laughs> you worst. are the worst of us. <laughs> you <Literally. laughs> That means I win, right? You are the worst of us. You are the blurst of us. <laughs> I'm, you know what? It's an interesting story, but not as funny as the old lady. Well, not as horrifically entertaining as the old lady and the tea. Old lady. The old lady and the tea. That was not funny. That was <laughs> In permanently the... banned from that town. In... Permanently banned. It got in you the... lot permanently banned from the town. Uh, they specified everyone in the party, my friend. Ah, I wasn't there. Yeah, I know. What town? <laughs> I was only trying to help. Can't banish me. I Ashbourne. wasn't there to be banished. Who did you terrify in Ashbourne? Okay. I was it just was fixing a shield. It, it, so it was an accident, but it had been a pretty rough day. And poor Rosalie had had some really hard news. You see? <laughs> you see, for a moment, his face changes. I was just like... She, it was informed consent. We offered her the tea. She said, you know what? It's been a rough day. The whiskey ain't going to cut it. Sure. I will have some tea. She had some tea. He decided to fix a shield. Trip went bad. She thought it was a demon. It was a goblin. Making loud noises. That was his fault. <laughs> Who are you pointing at? <laughs> Fucking Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory's just like, huh? <laughs> How could it possibly be my fault, you idiot? Yeah. Can yeah, you prove that wasn't? I was petrified at the time. I'm not an incompetent goblin. Are you sure, though? Could be two goblins in disguise. Never trust anyone that tall. 
It's unnatural. I don't have green skin like you, you idiot. I don't know, in this light you do. And I just lose seal with a lamp. What I need is to see. <laughs> Josh glowing green. Josh is a... Alright, so it was a bad trip and some circumstantial. Oh yeah. 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 And thus got you all banned from the town. Well, see, in the goblin tribe, if uh, if a young goblin is particularly stupid, okay. like <laughs> trying to hammer and fix a shield in a back room of a house where some spoopy shit had happened previously, makes a lot of loud banging noises, <sighs> Makes woman think there is demon, you know. So when if goblin misbehave, no, no, she take a notch of the ear. You see, I have one and one quarter ears. Uh, <laughs> one the, and a half, maybe. The rest of that ear was attached, well notched, but was attached prior to this. Uh. When I came to from my trip, I was informed. Got very mad. Took chunk of ear as opposed to Notch. Then went to run after Rosalie and apologize and make sure she was okay and let the townsfolk know that it was just bad drugs. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Bad drugs. Mm. Well, no, good drugs and bad circumstance and I forgot that I was now covered in his blood when I ran into trying to get down. I'm sure that went down a tree. Yes, we have been kindly asked not to return. We did, however, <laughs> pay her. A large amount of reparation. <laughs> and we fixed our house. And this was after we saved we the, did town save the town from, from destruction. Yes. So, yeah. That reminds me. I need to call back those birds. <laughs> did you send the birds back? No. <laughs> <What>? Not yet. <laughs> A wise party. <laughs> I'm confused. Speak to yourself. I can see that. But with that, the evening goes yes. on. You guys swap war stories. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you tell him about basically all of the stories that you've had so far. He tells you about the time he actually fought a chimera. Nice. Yep. It's how he got his rank. How'd that go? Poorly. It's how he got this scar. And you see, he shows you a big gash across here. Nice. Your picture's not accurate anymore. Nah, I've got too many years. Uh, going think. up here. Were they also <laughs> after the wipe that out. Uh, we'd basically been sent to investigate a cave mm -hmm. out here. People had been coming into the area and disappearing. Right, okay. Well, we got into the area, we thought it might have been the Fae. They kind of told us it was up this way, and then... Surprise. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, what are you gonna do? I don't know what you can do. Ah, uh, hey. get back home. <laughs> now I will. Is I in point your home? Oh. Not originally, but it's where I'm based out of now. Right. What, what makes you want to stay there at all places? The work. You get good work out of that. Oh. Consistently. Mostly guild work you do? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I work for the guild. Mm. Somebody's gonna keep everyone everything in check. Mm. <laughs> On a completely unrelated note to anything whatsoever, do you know about doppelgangers? Oh yes. <sighs> They're a pain in the ass to hunt. Okay. We think we might know where one is. But we don't have evidence. Ah, that's, that's why, why I said, said think and think might. And yeah. Thank you. There's a possibility. Unless there's some other larger ominous thing going on. <laughs> Usually with doppelgangers, there kind of is. Yeah. I've never really known doppelgangers not to get involved in some kind of bigger plot. Oh, you want to hear something pretty exciting, probably? Okay. Uh, the mine in Ashbourne. Yeah. The dwarves said, like, not, not 
stopped using it anymore. Oh, they've abandoned it. They've abandoned it. What do you yes. mean they've abandoned it? it the dwarves don't abandon ones. Ah, very, very rarely. But yeah, they do. No. If something's real bad. Ah, they sent a dive team and they closed it up. Huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that double gang we were talking about could very well be in Iron Point at the moment, masquerading as the former Overseer. That one. Because mm. he didn't take back a few uh, choice documents. Choice documents that were relatively easy to find. I do remember a dwarf coming to town and there being some kind of commotion just before I left. The dwarves got all. Well, dwarvish. Mm. Mm. I just smile fondly at that. Yeah. I'm sure everybody knows about it by now. Hush hush, possibly, but you know, whispers and rumors. Who knows about what? Oh, the, the mine. <sighs> Being closed down? Mm. No. You don't think? No one had known about the mine being closed. Oh, no, when, when you. Now. Nowadays, I would imagine. Uh, uh, Couldn't we count time to wrap no. that? No. They don't advertise that sort of thing. No, if that knowledge had been leaked, that would have been leaked within days of people coming into town. Of that happening. That's well, pretty hard to mm. stop when the people of Ashbourne know. I mean, did, did the people of Ashbourne know that the dwarves were actually abandoned the mine? No, they just knew that they hadn't seen any dwarves for a while. But they didn't think it was abandoned. No. They just thought they were holed up in there, yeah. maybe doing like a deep, dark, mm -hmm. like mine or something. And yeah. we only know that because of reasons. <laughs> we were conducting an investigation, as it were. On behalf of Elnwick, we are uh, town officials of Elnwick. You keep no, saying no, that, not. but you're not. You right. did the job for Elnwick. You're not a town official. I'm not a town official. I'm a church official of the church. Oh, church official. The church. Oh. <laughs> I see what you mean about clerics, champions How of the same. How much did you have? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so nobody knows about the mine being closed. Nope. Now you do. Mm -hmm. You don't think they might want to hush that up? Uh, hush that up. Only about three people know about it. And who would that be? One. Yeah. Who's the guy who runs the place? Van Kante? No, the, no, only one. Uh, the only other people we've spoken to about this are dwarves. We haven't told anyone. Oh. We Probably. haven't been talking to anyone. Yeah, but now they, we've told these two. Sorry. Those two go tell two more. Those two tell two more. That. Yeah. <clears throat> That's, um... I should not drink. <laughs> 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 I'll need you to send me exactly who you've sent that information to. Because have you mentioned that in any of your letters? Yeah. Exactly. I need to know who you've sent that information to. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now or, or out of character? No, 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 that can be out of character, that's fine. Yep, I've got I just need to know who exactly knows about the dwarves having abandoned a mine. Mm hmm Wait. Why are you telling me? Wait, I imagine there'd be a look across your face when you're, like, talking about the people we've told. It's like, it, we've only told him and the dwarves. We haven't told anyone else. It's not our business. Didn't you tell... Uh, Webb? Who's Webb? The council of Elysio. Mila? The local member for the council of Elysio in Iron Point. Is that Mila? I think we told him we broke into a mine. Uh, we told him what happened. Uh. I said them. Oh. Mm. I told them what happened. Because I remember blaming the break-in on the blacksmith, so we've told him that we broke into a mine. <laughs> That's about it, though, isn't it? I don't think we said it was abandoned, just that we broke into one. And there was the overseer in Iron Point was the other one we told. The overseer in Iron Point, you told? Yep. I don't think we gave all the details to Leonard, but he directed us to other things for more information. That's fine. But you gave people essentially copies of reports that you'd written for the people you were sending back home. 
Mm -hmm. So that means you gave reports to Henry, mm -hmm. yep. um, the priest Dominic, yep. and the wizard Chris. All got situational updates on our mission. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. So we all thought Kakron was going to be the one to destroy this particular party, but it turns out that it's Azula. No, it's fine. It's, it's mission updates. Wait, let me guess, let me guess, let me guess. You were... Uh, I really tried to help. No, I was doing my duty by sending wait, mission updates. Wait, how many people did you tell about this? Wait, you didn't you didn't tell anyone, right? This is I've been doing mission updates. Like to the relevant did, parties. But did you say the dwarves have abandoned this mine? I told them about our experience in the mines, so yes, I would assume that they could gather information from that. Mm. Intelligent people could put two or two together. Yes, that we've gone there, there's no one there. There's a situation about the, the doppelganger, mm -hmm. possibly infiltrating, we need more evidence. We are not clever. It's fine. Yeah, maybe that's... Could any advice on the matter? That could also be why they were so annoyed about us knowing things because it's like not something they would tell a lot of people. Ah, uh, now they run the risk of being shamed. And you also say that you might be hunting a double now. Mm-hmm. Good luck. <laughs> well, we don't, but we don't have any other working theory on who that person could be. I would suggest finding a backer immediately. A what? Someone to support your party. Ah, oh, like a patron. Oh. Yeah, we a patron. We don't have helping us. No, uh, I think we're helping him. That's well, true, we are helping him, favors for favors. Well, we may be able to join a guild before too long. That might be a good step in the right direction. Depends where they are. It's almost like you mentioned that there is a guild. In well, that endpoint, that would sure, be interesting. The of the sword would take you. Sure would be. Yeah, sure would be nice well, to have. You've already proven your worth. So and what, I can vouch for you. So what, what do they get from it? What do you mean? Or what would they get from backing us from yeah. discovering this doppelganger? Wait, why what do we What they need? get you. Yeah, what, what, why do we need a backer for this? Protection. From a doppelganger? Uh, or the dwarves, uh, because she's told everyone about this. Protection secret. from not just the dwarves. Politics. You don't know how the world works, do you? Um, I know how a very select part of the world works. Yeah, I thought you might, but you don't know how the bigger world works. I also all. know how a select part, well, not to an extent. extent. Yeah. I haven't studied the laws here as deeply as other. You places. should have an idea of how this works, because it wouldn't be much different to the yes. courts. We had courts. Yes, but I sort of. Yeah. Not really. No, we didn't. We had none. I don't know the people as well as I know. <laughs> like I, I don't know the culture thing, really. here as well as the culture. Cultures the change. They change the name. It's all the same. Politics is politics. Never had Bastards. To... Yeah. I never really had to deal with politics. That's fine. I lived. As long as you have somebody that knows their way around nobility. It's unfortunate right. though that this town is. Uh, you don't count. Many of the council members, <laughs> many of the council members here are favoured with crisis. Uh, one. One. Crisis isn't as big of a problem as you think it'll be. <laughs> crisis could be your biggest <laughs> advantage mm, if you I know. use them right. Yes, but they instant dislike. Well. And my instant. Just because they're because bastards they're doesn't mean they're bad people necessarily. Well, they are bad people, but they're easy to manipulate when you need them to. Except for the leader. He is an intelligent individual. Mm -hmm. You can't. He, he is someone I have never seen outsmarted. Well, we don't want to outsmart him. We yeah, we've got no chance of that. Well, no. we don't know. We don't but know what the bigger issue is. 
so long he's not on the ally side of the doppelganger, then we'll Well, we don't know if the doppelganger stuff is connected to the other issues. You don't even know if there is a doppelganger. You said it yourselves. You think there might. It, it is the best uh, theory we have based on the information yeah. we had and what happened when that person came back to Iron Point. Uh, we are making a lot of assumptions, of course. Yeah. It's kind of situation. Do. I don't think there's much other choices. Though. Yeah, well, we've already basically told him most of the stuff other than the spooky shit, which we right. don't need to explain for this. Um, why don't we get his advice on what he thinks it is? On the creature. <gasps> Based off the creature and the information we found in the journal. Ah, oh, with the long, awful fingers and hands. Yeah. Oh, you give him the description from the journal? Yeah, I'll basically explain to him as long as you guys hey. him about the journal, like the description there, the fact there was no bodies, the fact that this person came back claiming to be the overseer, <clears throat> but the overseer's journal was hidden in a very easy spot for someone claiming to be the overseer to find it. How the mind had been collapsed from the inside, not the outside. Yeah. How, yeah. Not that all fact up. Yeah, that's your best bet. Um, well, the other choices are not good. You don't want to deal with those. What are the other choices? You don't want to know. I don't want to know. No! Actually, no, I really, do. No, I don't. No, you do not. Right, you keep talking. I want to go see if there's any more of that meat left. It's Kara's just thinking, hmm, I wonder, could it be any of the things on the list between a Baylor, a Pit Fiend, <laughs> like the, the list of this is what the big bad has to be. I'm like... When, so when a, when something says in a description for an item once per day, is that once every 24 hours or is it like once with the magic passing of fucking... It's like your long rest sort of period. No, so it's hours. usually at dawn, it'll regain its charges. Dawn, all right. Okay, Because, cool. mm -hmm. like, if it's if it's past midnight, maybe I can try and turn into the the big thing and show what we saw. Oh, I also don't know if that's how magic things work. That's fair. Yeah, no, I... So, you... Yeah, there's plenty more meat. Like, just so I don't have to hear whatever it is that he might end up describing to this one. Also, people seem to like it. And he said it might keep. So, see if I can find a few other slabs to take off, cook down, and take with us. Yeah. Well, there's more tail. Ooh. You only grabbed off enough to feed you guys for tonight. Oh, right. well, there's plenty more that you could cut up for oh. pr more pres Like, if you wanted to, like, cook it up to s preserve it. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Don't you only grabbed, waste. like... Like, like, it was only, like, this much to cook up for tonight. Oh, it's, like, 13 feet long. Yeah, yeah. like, the yeah, thing exactly itself, like, there's another, like, probably four or five metres of tail. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Let's see. This could take a while. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> see? Let's see. Let's see. Now, is Gregor listening to this conversation, guys? Yep. Oh, probably. When he's sitting there. Mm. He's just been sitting there, like... Like he's just staring at the ground, but you've seen him basically just staring. As you sort of take notice of him, he's staring at one spot, and you see he looks like he's paying more attention to what's what you guys yeah. are talking about than anything on the ground. Because he can just pick, get that information away. Yeah. Yeah. You mean the information that you've shipped all around the world? It's for important higher individuals. I mean, if you want, you could just kill him. That would stop you spreading the information. No, I can't. That is against my code. Anyway. I mean, I'm... Yeah, it is. Pretty much. Um, so what are the other things I don't want to know about? I'm not telling you. Why? If you don't find out yourself, I'm not telling you. Gregory, are you feeling up for some training? <laughs> What? We can just do some hand to hand combat. Inspiring. Yes, it's sparring. Uh, I mean, I'm not doing much. Mean I just ate. Yeah, why don't you three go do some sparring? Go for digestion. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess. I'll take the armor off. I don't need that. <laughs> right, I need to work on that ring that that monster put in. The monster chomp. Like, I'm assuming that the monster chomped down on you, so I need oh my to. My arms like, all bent out of place. Yeah. It's a bit tight. Roll me a perception test. Uh, 15. Is it my dice? 18. 18. As you're taking your armor off, you see him, like, eyeing you out of the corner of his eyes. That's fine. Eyeing you. I pretty, pretty elf lady. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just you don't think I'm not used to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, in this no, well, he hasn't way. taken notice because you're in full plate. Mm. But now that you're taking the full plate off, see my lean muscles. Huh. Yeah. Yes, so, that's yeah. That's that's. What and my helmet's off. So my. <laughs> yeah. I need another go with that shield too. Thanks. Can I just pass me your stuff. <sighs> Oh, Seal, do you want to take off your armor and I oil the leather and make sure it's all clean and good to go? Um, do you want to do some training with us, Lucille? No. That's just busy. I'm busy. Bad things yeah, you, yeah, give, give me your breastplate, I'll attend to your gear. It's in the middle of something. Just take it off. It does take a little while here. Do you want me to help? It's like, hang on. It's like, oi. Ting ting, get out of there. With <laughs> <laughs> a giant rat on top of my head. <laughs> That's a good lord, you're heavy. Chunk. I can't do the sides. That's alright. Thanks. <laughs> I'll just sit back down, oh. I guess. I can wait. What do you mean? Well, you no, you can start training with Gregory while she gets him naked. Uh, <laughs> naked. <laughs> uh, de armored. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure, yes. I don't, know, I don't think he's pretty much. Greg Gregory's just sitting there, like, yeah. staring at the pair of you at this point, and Josh just sort of. <laughs> get over there, you idiot. I'm still wearing the padding underneath. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, he's away. But. It's been six months. <laughs> <laughs> he also doesn't seem like the kind of young lad that was very popular with the ladies. I don't think he's very popular with anyone. Yeah. <laughs> You're only a soldier. You have to learn what to care about. Yeah. Anyway. Just like, sort of sit around and like, look, there's obviously bigger things going on here that are bigger than just the double thing. There's not a lot I can talk about, but there's a lot of other things happening across the countryside. If you have some sort of idea, I would appreciate it. Not without more information. Then what is it you are referring to? No, I'm not telling you for your safety. Some of the things, just knowing about them, can draw them to you. Like sewer cats. <laughs> like simply thinking or speaking their name, there's a chance that they will hear it and they will come. And you do not want that. Case in point points out the cave in the direction of the grotto. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> just like, just, yeah. As yeah. such, we will not be talking about them here. That's, that's fair. Yeah, this. Okay. Just flick him around. Yeah. Start the oiling this. I'll work on this one. You see, take off. Yeah, yeah, it's like, off his oh, yeah, armor. it's like, yeah, yeah. It's just like, take off your armor. It's been six months. Does it need any repair work? He sort of takes it off and sort of has a look over it. Uh, no, that's all right. Oh, Joshua, you could join us too. Oh. <laughs> It'd be good to see the skills of the uh, Khmer level. I've been stuck kneeling for six months. I don't need to do that yet. Uh, Besides, I'm going to get plenty of a workout carrying one of those idiots back. We all will. Yeah. Actually, I prepped a spell you might be able to carry too. 
Huh? She done it. Well, actually, tomorrow I can, if, well, with you guys, I don't need to worry so much about the combat stuff. I can prep a couple of ant hole spells, make it easier on everyone to carry the extra bits and pieces. That probably would be good. Yeah. You got some spare tools? Uh, you can use the bits that I'm not working on. Like we can just look around and just pull out my blacksmith's kit. And yeah. All my tools and stuff. Be crazy. What? It's a little small, but... Like hey, three. don't knock that hammer. I got it when I was living with the dwarves. Yes. It's also <laughs> you, you. He picks it up and it looks like a child's hammer to like, him. Just, that is perfectly weighted for me, and I got that yes. <laughs> for you. And he also he reaches over and cups your entire hand in his hand. <laughs> he's a, <laughs> you feel him like grip and then picks you up. <laughs> yeah, just lifts me. I'm just like. Look, I can smith the hammer that's heavier than I am. What of it? I'm <laughs> not... I'm just pointing out that this does not look right for me. <laughs> Do you want to try hitting it with this one? I mean, sure. I don't know how good I'll be in a fight afterwards, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> but no, I mean hitting the piece and... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I better not think it to give it to a party and I don't want to. No worries. Anyway. Spreading more dwarven stuff. Just, just, just like puts me back down with my arms so crossly. Your point is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to like start like swing it and he stops halfway and like you see him like like all of his muscles were tensed mm -hmm. and he halfway through the swing he like stops. He's like my fist is getting hit that before the hammer does. <laughs> The, the tools? Yeah. Um, insert dwarven name here. Oh, good, the dwarf mate. Alright. I said that before, <gasps> I got them when I was living with you, the dwarves. <laughs> you watch as he slams into his breastplate and you can see there's a dent mm -hmm. in there that looks like it's been there for quite a while and he just starts beating it out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound right. It sounds... It's, no, well, it doesn't, but it looks like it should. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'd nick the engraving. <laughs> Just like, yeah. Yeah, but you guys go back to business. Oh, we're having fun. Just doing some Keeping all my own yeah. mm. I know. All right, so anyone that's taking part in the in the training, practice just gifts. roll a generic melee attack, like unarmed. Oh, unarmed, you say? Yeah. So, what's the crit level with twenties again? <laughs> <laughs> so you roll an attack. Yeah. Nice. Of course, I fucking did. <laughs> mm, I got high too. <laughs> Twenty five. What did Gregory get? <laughs> oh, I need to add things. Twenty nine, I think. Hang on. He's not doing too well, bad. He shouldn't be used to that. Does that no he He's yeah. had some, like, he's obviously had, like, official training yeah. in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, 30. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have this plus is, 10 now. This is all non-lethal, by yeah, the way. Yeah, no, no, no. That's Every, the point. It's just like, a he is, like, you're sparring with him. Yeah. And you can tell he's had formal training. But you can also tell he he's has... No experience in a real fight. Um, and you sort of like, at one point you tag out and Kakran just jumps in. And immediately he is off balance because Goblin starts doing Goblin things. <laughs> and me being like teacher, mentor -y, and then he's just jumped in. <laughs> he's like... Everybody, come on, I want you to do it. I want you to have it. Everybody. No, no, so you're like, you're like trying to mentor him. Yeah. And then you're like, baby. okay, now for an unconventional fighter, and you sort of take a step aside, and Karkaran jumps in and immediately like backhands like the like his right knee, and he's nowhere near prepared for that and almost puts him on his ass within like a second. And he like tries to steady himself, but by that point, you've already like climbed up his leg. I have time wrestler! <laughs> you do have time wrestler! I haven't had a chance to use it yet. 
Yeah. Do you? Yeah, yeah, he's got hide and wrestle. <laughs> so at that point, you've already climbed up his leg, like put his leg into a lock and have grabbed his arm and he's on the ground, just unable to move. I mean, I have run. I didn't mean to do that well. I, I saw this once in a UFC fight where it was essentially like a, um, it was like a 13 second tap out via arm bar. Like it was, it was two chicks, she literally like ran like dodged a punch and then as the arms outstretched she's jumped in the air grabbed the arm and got her into the perfect position that as they've hit the ground the woman is the other woman's like tapping out from the arm bar it was just yeah right got him. Perfect. yeah sorry but like you've got him pinned and you feel him flexing to like try and force you off and like he's bigger than you so he's just like oh i'll just like force the just goblet do off the me, thing, yeah. and and you feel him do it a couple of times, and then you're like looking down at his face, and he starts going white, and you you're watching, and you see him start to panic, because he's like, "That's not how this is supposed to work. I was I'm bigger than them. <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to just force my way out and do whatever I want." Reaches up to two sizes larger. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that wasn't supposed to. Go that way. Like you can grapple large creatures. <laughs> yeah. Don't panic. Fights are always going to be surprising. Um, you have to expect anything. I. If it makes you feel any better, I didn't mean to do so well. <laughs> 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 it's just. I'm new to this too. Doesn't make me feel any better. I'll let him go. <laughs> you let him go. Yeah. Yeah. He gets back up. Immediately takes up his position again. But you notice it's the exact same position he started in when you first engaged him. Kakron, show him what position he should take to counter what you just did. Please. Um, don't, <laughs> don't get hit. <laughs> Move your legs. Does it run away? Regret. <laughs> okay, so the position... I don't know, hit me. Should... No. I want to see how he does things. Okay. So just yeah, the, you basically... slow blink one eye at a time. <laughs> <laughs> just look like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you basically just stand there, like completely defenseless. And he, he just thought, he, and you're just like, hit me. He just, what? He just, hit me. What? Hit me! <laughs> just, it's the biggest wind up punch that you've ever seen. I was going to say, do I need to do a reflex? But it doesn't sound uh, like it. If you're trying to intentionally dodge out of the way, you will. Because he actually... Like, it's the biggest wind-up punch, but as it but gets to the back, fast. it bursts forward with a lot more speed than you were expecting. Uh -huh. um, that's not great. That is 4 plus reflex 11, 15. Holy shit. <laughs> he got you. Not, not bad for a 4. No, these... My AC is 21, does that matter? No, I'm standing still, I'm like, do it, and I'll, I don't know, I'll see how it looks. <laughs> so, uh, are you intentionally going flat-footed, or? Well, I don't know how that no. works. So like, basically it reduces your AC. I'm like, I'm like, try and hit me, but I don't want to get hit. You don't want to get hit? Okay, oh, so. I, I'm, so it's seeing if he can hit you, like, not I, standing stock still to feel the punch. So yeah, you basically stand there, and at the last second, you just sort of, shift ever so slightly to the side and his punch misses you by like million, like just grazes your cheek. <laughs> Kissing my <and wipe> past. <laughs> <laughs> he basically he basically equaled your AC, so yeah. <laughs> just if you had the rest of that year he would have gotten you. Good. But too big. He just starts swinging down at you again. S small is quick. Yeah, and you basically just Quick prove good. with the smallest of movements that you can just evade every single one of his punches and basically not move off of the spot. Oh, my leg just cramped up. Oh, good. That's because you're standing in the one spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> standing still too long. I'm good. Sorry. No, Do you need to hop up and walk around? No, that's good. I'll just stretch And after like a minute, he's like exhausted, like panting and hasn't hit you once. Hmm. All right, Gregory, what did you learn? Goblins are 
fucking slimy. No. Ah, yes. Uh, I, I mean, slippery prey, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> ben has a point. It's not that he's slimy, it's because you're, you're trying to fight a monk. You're not there. Are they not in the same, like, yeah, the same general vicinity? We're not outside. I thought they were outside the cave. I thought they went outside. Oh, did they? Oh, oh okay. I thought you were inside where the light was and stuff so we could laugh at this. I assumed everyone could see each other. No, because yeah. we thought you guys were having a private conversation. Oh, that was just like some private right. before you were heading anyway, off that way. No, that's fine. Yeah, no, if you guys no. went outside, that's all right. Never mind. Yeah. Then. Now's probably the best time to tell you that I don't actually know how to teach anyone. That's fine. Yeah. That's it was always the one that wanted to turn it into a teaching thing. You just yeah. were going oh. for a spa. Yeah. I thought it would be fun. Yeah. I mean, it has fun. it not been? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I use my diplomacy? Yep. Slash a bit of intimidation. You can. In those near moments that need discipline when he's. Sure. You can start with diplomacy and we'll see how we go. You have elbows, use them. Uh, 14. 14? Mm hmm. Let me know, I'm You're trying to explain to him what's going on, and he just seems frustrated that he's incapable of hitting the small green man. Punching down isn't working, try a kick. <laughs> Alright, Catherine, you need to stop. Yours is all instinct, apparently. Stop, I haven't started. <laughs> <laughs> I have thrown one punch! Hey, hey, hey Gregory. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Hey, Josh. Josh? Yeah. I don't know how it's going out there, but can you just yell out, kick him in the dick? No. If I do it, then Cochran's going to be the one that does it, as opposed to Gregory. No, I'm not going to teach him that. <laughs> Seriously? Fighting a goblin monk? To I be fair, if he had a yellow kick him in the dick, I would have. He needs to learn proper fighting. What are you talking about? We've survived many fights by going for the genitals. <laughs> have you not seen a honey badger take down a, like, a wildebeest? By emaciating its prey. You fight for survival, not for fancy arts. No, no, there's a difference between fighting fancy and just going for the balls. It doesn't work all the time. Some things don't have bollocks. Exactly. Yeah, that's what magic's for. <laughs> a wizard would say that. Hey. I did really well in the fighting competition with nothing but my stuff. Are you trying to imply that you got a magic bollocks onto someone so you got something to kick? Can't prestidigitation make things? That's what Lucille took from that conversation. <laughs> no, 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 but your disguise hat, you could totally make her look like you've got bollocks in a different place. Frank, he's a bald chidian. Do the old Peter Griffin. Sorry guys. Right, I really need water. I've been waiting, but I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm back. Well, well, do you want some of Do we want to call it there? Yeah. Because like Probably 2 a.m. Yeah. Do you want to too? Oh, no. I was offering you some water. Yeah. All right. Cool. Did, did, was there a succinct, succinct wind-up to that, that fight that we wanted to finish it on? We tried it, to teach Gregory and Gregory fails miserably or I tried to sleep like, throughout the night. Or. I wasn't playing with him. I was genuinely trying to help. I just don't know how to teach people. So, yeah, you were trying to get through to him, but he's just too frustrated. All right, that's a shame. Is essentially what it was coming down to. It's fine, you have to create a connection with these people. You know what? For them to we might get you. saddled with him at some point if we join the guild. All right, you know what? That's fine. I've he's, I can see he's getting frustrated, so I let him hit me. I let him land one. Okay. Make him feel good about himself. All right. Right on top of the head so that he breaks his hand and you get he, a slight... You're going to take... As long as it's not 32 damage. Five points of non-lethal damage. Oh, thank Christ. Wait, non-lethal? Yeah. It'll uh, go away after a while. Yeah, how is... Where do I... How? Just don't worry about it. Uh, put it in as negative 10 temporary. HP? Yeah. I mean, we're going to go to bed after this anyway. Yeah. So I can do a long rest on him? We'll just end it on sleeping for the night? Yeah. Well, the night winds up to the sound of sizzling... Lizard steaks. <laughs> One solid thunk. <laughs> ah, good job. One person yeah. holding his hand going, oh god, fuck that hurts. Play it up a little bit. Ah, you got me. <laughs> he seems pleased with himself, but not as pleased as you'd be expecting. Yeah. Does he know? 
<laughs> you don't know. So what I'm hearing is that we need to take him to a bar and start a brawl. Probably an idea. And that is where the story ends for this episode. Thank you for joining us on this part of our adventure. Stay tuned for more adventures next time, and don't forget to spread the word.